Okay, audio check, like check. One more check.
Hello, good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. We had Hacker, Kobobo, and Welcome in, Emmy. Hope everyone's doing well today. So, things are slightly different today. I got a new ring light, so the light source is now, like, straight ahead of me. Because I was able to put it, like, behind my TV. I think it looks okay. I might move it back over here, but I don't like this, like, cast shadow on this side. The only way to fix this would be to have lights, like, on both sides of me, but... I don't have that set up just yet, so it's okay. <laughs> um, today, as you can tell by the title, we are finally, finally doing another Mario Kart Challenge run. So, we'll go more into the rules later, but let's do a little bit of catch-up before we start playing. Um, so this weekend, as some chatters know, I did go on a little trip, and you guys want to know where I went? It was supposed to be a day trip, but then it turned into a multiple day trip. But I went to Rose City Comic Con. So it was a whole debacle. It was so much drama. Oh my god. So it was my sister and then one of her friends and then one of my friends. So what we did, I'll go more into story times later. But I have two I have two passes because initially we were gonna go on the Saturday, right? But my sister really wanted to see a certain celebrity, but they were only going to be there fucking Sunday. So I got my Saturday pass in the mail like a month ago. And then we had to pick up the Sunday day passes um, on Sunday. I was going to say yesterday, but today's fucking Wednesday, guys. It's Wednesday. So it was a whole debacle. So much drop. It was my first ever convention. Like I said, we'll go into more story times when we actually start playing the game. But I'd have to say... Like, if I were to rate it out of 10, I'd say like 7. I think it'd be a lot more fun, because like, I, I think I'm kind of nerdy, but I'm not too nerdy, you know what I mean? Like, I enjoy like fandoms, but I'm not like too into stuff. Um, like it was definitely like fun watching my sister run around and see things that she liked, because you know, I basically had to babysit, right? <laughs> Guys, my sister, she's 21. She's 21. Um, <laughs> so that was this weekend. That's also why, okay, I'm gonna stop report. So we got home on, because we left Saturday, and then we got, because um, it was in Portland, Oregon, so about like a three, four hour trip from where I live. So we took the train. The train was actually pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, is our people cosplay? Yes! Oh my god, there were so many pretty people. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Yes, there were, there were so many cosplayers that were like, very nice, very nice. Um, <laughs> my sister, she actually cosplayed with her friend. Um, they cosplayed as like the fast food workers from Breaking Bad with like the red and the yellow uniforms. It's like the chicken place. Like something fucking stupid to cosplay, right? Uh, <laughs> oh, what was it? So I didn't buy much. I'll show you guys what I bought. I only bought. I bought two things and then my sister got me something. So, I told myself I'm not gonna buy anything big because you know I don't need to collect things. But I got this keychain. Come on, you can do it. it it's CJ from Animal Crossing. It's one of those acrylic keychains. And then, I also got this sticker. This was from like, it was one of the booths where they had like college kids arts. So I was like, oh, you know, gotta, gotta support the students. I don't think I'm gonna use this sticker anyway, because like, I don't like putting stickers on things. I just felt bad. It was only two bucks, so. And then my sister, um, she got me these play earrings. Because I I've been like debating if I want to like pierce my ears or not. I've been thinking about it, but I do have like magnet fasteners, so I can always adopt any pair of earrings into magnetic ones. Because like I get the type of mood to where like I want to look more femme. I don't know. It's I guess it's a phase in my life. Yeah. Because like my sister, she also got like a few posters. Uh, my friend, they got a nice cool print. We also got fudge, which is pretty good. Yeah, it was a good time. I think admission was only 
Because, like, since we purchased the Saturday tickets for, I think, 55 you could always, like, transfer and change the date online. So Sunday fare was only $50, so it wasn't too bad. We spent, like, a few hours there. But honestly, honestly, I got bored right away. <laughs> so I don't know if I'd go to... I'd only want to go to another convention if there was, like, a speaker I really wanted to see. Or, like, some type of, I guess event or product I wanted to buy but my sister really wanted to go and I it, it was it was like my dad didn't let us go because it's out of state right he wouldn't let us go unless I went so <laughs> I guess I had to go but yeah all in all it's a pretty good weekend it's a good trip oh okay so I was gonna stream on Tuesday but then because I, I had a call on Monday but I had to reschedule it for Tuesday because I got home later on Monday or no, I got home early Monday, but I was, like, too fucking tired to do anything. Because, like, I walk... Okay. So, the normal person walks, like, a few thousand steps every day. And, like, as you know, I, guys, I can't walk or stand for too long, okay? But I walked a total of 20,000 steps on Sunday. It was actually crazy how much I walked. Like, my legs... I could barely, like, move them all of Sunday evening and then Monday. It was bad. Like, even yesterday, like, I was stretching throughout the day, and it was still kind of bad. Uh, today, I haven't ridden my bike in, like, four days, so today I'm gonna ride my bike and be actually good. But yeah, so, that was this weekend. Um. <clears throat> oh! Uh, something secret! Chatters, chatters. Something secret. Um, I'm not gonna announce it officially. I decided not to. Because we are going to do a super secret super secret Maggie sports event on Sunday um, at 11 a.m. PST we're doing Mario Party Superstars it's gonna start at 11 a.m. PST it's like normal stream time and if you win you get VIP for a month and as it says in the chats it'll be a sub only stream that's like 10 miles I know crazy cuz like we just kept doing laps around the convention center cuz like we were fucking bored but yeah, it was crazy. Because, like, we had to walk to the bus station, walk from the bus station in Portland to the venue, which was, like, nearly, like, a mile away from the station. And then walk back to the train station at the end of the day. And then we had to walk back from the train station in Washington to wherever we were staying for the night. So, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of fucking walking. I'm surprised I didn't pass out. Like, I was very close. But, you know, I, I made sure to, like, keep hydrated and, like, keep eating throughout the day. And, like, I took lots of breaks, but it was a lot of fucking walking. Anyway, chatters, we are doing that secret Meg Esports stream on Sunday. It'll be for subscribers only. I know I said in the past that I want to do all Meg Esports events sub only. That way we can avoid stream snipers, but... I think we can get the Mario Kart ones full open lobby. Because that brings a lot of people into the stream. But I think we can do one exclusive sub-only Meggy Sports event once a month. I think that'd be good. And then we can do it like more like niche or like obscure or like smaller, um, I guess player count games. Because I know some people said they want to do Uno and stuff, so. Yeah, it's top secret. <laughs> uh, the reason why I'm not going to put like a post on Twitter is because I want it to be for the people who are in stream consistently or who are paying subscribers because like the one thing I always feel bad about the Mario Kart tournaments is that um I understand that you know we got some sweats in chat which is fine which is totally fine but it just feels bad when like the regulars can never place even in like top six sometimes so I feel bad but I I because like I want the VIPs to be like active members like me Keep in mind, I'm not going to hand them out to anybody, so only people who have VIP now in this moment are like friends and like other streamers, but for the super secret mega sports event, it'll be for sub only. I think that'll be what we'll try and do from here on out. So that's the first announcement. That's the first secret of the day. <laughs> and I guess the other kind of announcement that I have that is something that I've been talking about for a while, but... I think, because I was thinking about it over the weekend, and I want to try and do more art. Not necessarily on stream, but just in general. So, 
I think either later this month or in the start of October, I'm gonna start streaming on an alt account. So now I have three, tw I have three Twitch accounts. I have my main, this one. I have Meg Esports, which is just like my alt for testing stuff. And now I have a third account called Peace and Underscore Art. So chatters, if you politely could just drop that new channel a follow, that'd be great because um. I want to have it separate from the main because I know not necessarily everyone on this channel is used to like art content and I feel like art streams only it's like it's still for a very like niche audience because like Twitch is still at its core like a gaming platform right so I'd rather have it separate because I like I don't want to kill this channel I think this channel will do well over the course of like a year or two and I don't want to kill it by doing like super long art streams. So, we are still going to do sketch cards here. There is still a channel for redemption for the sketch cards, but, and we'll still do the portrait cards and calligraphy for follower journal and then sub journal on this channel. We'll still do that. But if I do any like larger portraits or paintings, it'll be on that second alt art account. So, like I said, I'm, I made a separate account on IG or Twitter. Um, those will be officially announced when I have, like, the proper branding. I just want to get, like, the, the usernames, like, hint, like taken today. Um, I think the IG is peace and underscore art underscore, and then Twitter is peace and underscore art. But, like I said, um, those will be officially announced and branded, hopefully, by the end of the month. Um, but, if everybody could go follow my alt art account on Twitch, I think... I want, I want to do well on that channel. I want to make more larger pieces and that type of thing, so. <laughs> Hi, welcome to stream, Harley. Chatter, chatters, can we get some peace I2 yo's for a first time chatter? I've always watched the TikTok, but never joined a live. I mean, it's totally fine, because like, short form content is totally different from stream, but I appreciate you coming in and saying hi today, man. Feel free, chat, hang out, whatever makes you happy. If you have any preferred um, nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Um, let's see. I think that's all, like, catch-up or announcement-wise I have today, so, yeah. I know some chatters are saying they do like the art content, but I think I want to do more on that other account in the future. Like, if I do more, like, large pieces, because, like, he, him, okay, got it, boss. Um, because I was talking about this with my friend last night, and, because, like, at the Comic-Con, there was, like, so many different, like, artist booths and that type of thing. And there was this one really cool piece we saw. I think the the artist name or brand is called. Oh, fuck! Like, what was it? I he they took the business card, but I didn't. It was like something unknown. Something unknown. Anyway, they had these like, really beautiful like landscape illustrations, but they just had them as like mouse pads, but they didn't have any like actual physical prints. Anyway, so we we're like talking about that and. If I do art, if I do art to sell, I think I only want to sell originals. I don't know if I want to do prints, because what I want to do for chatters, go follow that alt art, ch the alt art channel. I think what I want to do is, like, you know how my nails, they have that kind of like rainbow chromey effect? I want to do something like that, with, but with paintings, because with physical things, you can tell like the texture. A lot better than with like a physical print um so i think what i want to do is like you know the sketch cards that's, that's actually cool i want to make the sketch cards like the abstract type work into like physical large paintings but i think what i want to do is any part that has color i want to mix in like chrome or pearl mica powder into the paint that way when you look at it in person you'll get like a kind of like glint so I think that's what I want to do with all of my like smaller pieces. I want to make them into larger portraits and that type of thing. So, and it's kind of hard to get that type of effect with prints, right? So I think if I go that path, I'd only want to sell originals. Cause like, I think it would be really cool if I ever had like an established audience, like doing like a quarterly auction, I think would be a fun stream. Cause you can do so many different bits and jokes. And then also like being able to like mail out the pieces and stuff. I think that'd be something fun to do if I ever <clears throat> if I ever get to that point where people want to buy stuff. Um, 
But yeah. I've always loved art, but my middle school art teacher ruined my love for it. See, like, I kind of feel like that too. Um, but the thing with, like, art in school is, like, I know in middle school, like, the, the um, assignments we had to do were very structured. Like, you have to do this, this, and this. But what I loved about my high school art teacher, like, if the lesson was based around, like, shading or colors, he would be like, oh, you know, do whatever you want. I know you have ideas, just do whatever you want, as long as it's applicable to what the unit is. And, like, I think the way that, like, especially, like, middle and high schools, because those are, I think for those, like, for our classes, they're required, so, like, some kids don't want to draw at all, right? So I think they need that structure, but I think the students that, like, have potential or who have, like, a passion for art, like, just giving them whatever freedom I think is good, um, yeah. You should do a Christmas-themed painting? We might do themed wallpapers. I think we'll do a stream this month where I paint like a Halloween themed wallpaper that we'll keep up for the month. So we might do that. Oh, it's the f it, dude, September is flying by. It's flying by. Um, we could do like chat, chat suggestions for like themed wallpapers. I think that'd be good. Or maybe we can only have it up for like the last week of October. So I feel like having the same wallpaper up for the whole month would get kind of old. I don't know, we'll, we'll, think, we'll think about it and talk about it later. Um, enough stalling chatters. I've been stalling for 20 minutes now. I think we can go ahead and get started with the game. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that, Harley. Only, I know you're new, but please only share what you feel comfortable with, but you know, it will go, it will get better. I know for, I myself, this year has been tough too, but gotta keep pushing through. It will get better. Okay, let's get started. So, we're going with the old overlay today. Oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot. Um, let's say it'll get better soon. Yes, it will get better. That's one of the things you have to just keep telling yourself. I know it's, it's not good to look at everything as temporary, but in terms of like how your life progresses, there will be ups and downs and things will get better. <coughs> okay, before I get started, chatters. Sub goal for today is the funny number, guys. We're at 60 subs. Funny number, 69 goal. Subs is our goal today. <laughs> okay. Okay, so as we can tell by our title, the rules for this challenge run is I will intentionally fall back to 12th place. And then I have to somehow get back to first. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Why'd I low-key miss the overlay? I know, we haven't seen this overlay in a while. I think we're only going to use this overlay for Mario Kart and Animal Crossing sections of the stream. Like, I kind of miss it too. Like, I like how everything is like... It seems like clean, you know? It's clean. <laughs> I hate the people who draw with them. No, it's okay. Like, my personal rule is, um, is it in my chat rules command? Let's see. Oh, it, I have, like, an updated chat rules, but, like, my personal rules, like, there is times to where we do, like, go into heavier topics, but only share what you feel comfortable with, along with, you also have to keep in mind, like, everybody has their own, like, boundaries for everything. <coughs> So, I think it's time- it's okay to talk about things generally, as long as it's related to what, like, I'm talking about already. But... As long as you're not weird, it's okay. Okay, let's get started. Should we do- we'll, we'll start with the new DLC. I'm playing Mario Kart in- since the tournament, I don't think, right? No, I'm- I can't even remember the last time I played. <laughs> guys, I am so excited for the fall, guys. The second season is starting tomorrow. I am so excited. Okay, so this is gonna be the first race of the day, so we'll see how it goes. Chatters, there is a prediction up. Go Gamba, do you think I will get first if I have to fall back to 12th place? So there's several ways we can do this. We can either like wait at like the start line and wait for everybody to pass us and like wait for like 10, 20 seconds, or we can wait for somebody to lap us. Oh, I have auto accelerate on. Yeah, I'm breaking right now. 
Okay, I'm counting in my head. Okay, it's been ten. It's been ten. I think maybe we- I think the best way to do it, especially if you're playing with computers, is let somebody lap me. I think that'd be a lot more interesting. Oh! <laughs> I haven't played! I haven't played for a while, guys! Oh, I hate this- I hate this fucking turn! I always get debated. You're not gonna play Mario Kart until the new tracks release? I watched the Nintendo Direct from the other day, and I didn't realize they'd be showing the new DLC tracks, and I was like, fuck! And I, like, quickly muted and turned off the video. <laughs> so, like, I narrowly dodged spoilers for the next DLC drop. Like, I was very close to getting spoiled again. Now, how to get bananas in first? Ayo! Yeah, I didn't stream yesterday, Big Sag, but I know it's weird. Cause like, I don't think I've streamed on a Tuesday for three weeks now, and I feel bad. <laughs> they only showed two tracks, oh really? No wonder that part of the stream was so short, cause I only turned off the video for like 10 seconds and it already passed! <gasps> oh my god, dude, I stole it from him at the end. <laughs> um... But, I don't- did they- okay, nobody spoil what the tracks are, nobody spoil. But did they say when the next drop is gonna be? You're hyped for the new Zelda? I haven't had the chance to play Breath of the Wild- oh wait, I played like a little bit whenever my sister got bored of it. But... <clears throat> I think- <laughs> I think it looks good. I mean, they haven't shown like anything of it besides like, I guess some promo art, but... It's dropping this holiday season? Really? Oh, the DLC? Okay, okay. I can wait. That's not that bad. I thought you were playing online. No! Okay, we're gonna wait for that someone to lap us. So right now I'm breaking like crazy. It just looks like I'm shuffling forward. <laughs> okay, having the lap me is... Not good, I'm realizing now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay, villagers approaching. Do you not normally play online? I usually start with computers to warm up for the first hour and- Oh, there we go, there we go! And then I switch to online. Because if I started with online, it would just ruin my hopes and dreams, you know? <laughs> oh, this is 200cc. I was like, why am I going so freaking fast? Oh my god! Bill, Bill! Oh, I hate when they drop you on a turn like that. It's not fair. Okay, I have yet to catch up. I have yet to pass somebody. This this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Okay, eighth, not bad, not bad. Seventh. Oh, come on! No, 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 no. Oh, you fuckers! No way! No way! No way! I th okay, I thought there was no way I'd get, be able to get first. No fucking way. Okay, so I think it fully depends on what items I get whenever I stay in the back. I think that's gonna be the main determining factor. That one is way too close, though. Okay, I think using the strategy of having somebody lap me is the way to go. I think it's a lot more interesting. Oh my god, come back. I know, crazy. Crazy. Okay, chatters, go gamba. New prediction is up. Do you think I'll get first on this attempt? <laughs> Sick. 
so how how's everybody doing <laughs> okay this course is very long or actually no it's not really because i was looking at that um oval in the center but that's not part of the track i'm just waiting you know i'm learning how to drive i get scared whenever i have to merge Okay, Wario's approaching. Now we go. I wonder. Oh. Uh oh. Ruh bro. Hold. Uh oh. Shatters hold. <laughs> I debated going to sleep or watch stream. I think he made the right decision. Hey yo? Yeah, let's do an audio check. It looks like it's back. Hey yo? I was happy because like OBS did update. There was an update over the weekend. <clears throat> and I finally applied the update today. So I think that could be it. Because, like, my USB ports have been, like, fucking up extra hard today. So, Chandra, if you notice that, like, the cam disappears or the game disappears, just tell me. Oh! <laughs> okay, thankfully that got solved pretty quickly. Oh, talking about the secret art channel, Chatter's exclamation art. Go follow my new alt channel! Um, I think I kind of want to wait until I can get a second cam set up. Like, ha imagine having, like, two, like, super HD cameras. That'd look freaking sick. Because that way I can have, like, I guess, like, a full body POV of me painting. I think that'd be cool. Wait, this is lap three? Oh, I forgot this was the way it was set up. Shortcut? Okay, this one's not looking good. Not at all. Meg's cam gone missing. No, it's back. It's back. Oh, no. Okay, I think the way that this track was set up... Instead of having, like, traditional, like, laps, I don't think there could have been any way for me to come back on this one. Damn. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I think because the way that this track was set up, one whole lap is not technically a lap. So, because the first technical lap was one full loop, and then lap two was basically like a half lap, and then lap three was another half. Hmm. So because I had to wait a full lap, or somebody had passed me, I missed out on so much time. Damn, big sad. <laughs> Go home, cry dad. Okay, so that one was not a good track for this challenge. Ignore this. Delete it from your memory. This one's very bad. <laughs> okay, anyway. Next prediction is up, go Gamba. Okay, I think we can go ahead. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm supposed to break. Fuck, I totally forgot we were doing the challenge. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, I'll break right here. I totally forgot. <laughs> oh, these laps are so long. You hate this track? No way. I love this one. It's fun. Aside for me to not go to the casino at 21. But Gamba is so fun! And by Gamba, I mean predictions, not actually gambling. Gambling is very bad. Do not ever do it. I have never done a lottery ticket. I've never gambled. Because I have a very addictive personality, meaning... If I were to try it once, I would keep doing it. And I don't have the money for it. Okay, I'm trying to make, like, little squigglies on the road. 
We can do donuts, I guess. Man, look at that perfect circle. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, why isn't somebody passing me yet? This reminds me of like those spinner pen toys I had when I was younger. It was basically a top that had a pen in it, and you'd spin it on your paper and it makes circles and spirals. You've never <laughs> never done a lottery ticket. Wowie. Hey, there we go. There we go. Because like my dad, he spends like a hundred plus dollars on lottery tickets every month. And he still has it won. The most he's won was like 500 bucks. But that was one time, like two years ago. But he spends like way too much money on lotto tickets. It's literally not worth. Oh, that was such bad RNG! Like our first story time of the day so i had that three hour train ride to oregon right and before the trip i was like hey sister can i please bring the switch on the train please i want to play animal crossing i want to play mario Kart. i want to chill and she's like no it's either gonna get stolen or you're gonna break it because yes i have cracked the screen a few times not not a, not on purpose of course but you know uh, shit happens and she's like no you cannot bring it on the train so i'm sad i'm bummed out I meet her at the station the next day. And you know what I see her pull out of her bag? The goddamn Switch. So she lied to me saying I couldn't play the Switch because she wanted to play the Switch with her friend on the train. I felt so angry. I felt so betrayed. But then, to kind of make it up to me, she did bring Animal Crossing, like the physical game cartridge, on the train so I get to play on the way home. It was good. It was good times. But I didn't think she would lie to me like that. My god. Ten the fuck me, dude. <laughs> You're giving celebrity. See, like, I've had videos pop off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've had, like, a few TikToks pop off. I think the most that I've views that I've gotten. Was I think I had a video with 500k. And it was a video of me talking about me playing Mario Kart as I was talking about like food drive donations in school. And like, it, it's bad because, like you said, like when you open the app, you see like so many notifications and you just keep refreshing to see what comments or things or people are saying. It's very like addicting. Like, I haven't had a video pop off in a while, which is okay. I don't care about huge views or anything. I think my favorite part about TikTok is just replying to comments. Because <laughs> I think I think it's so funny whenever I get like super snarky ones that are intentionally like trying to like press buttons or like start a debate. And I just reply like with something really stupid. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I never play as Bowser Jr. Your sister snake do, yeah. Dude, I didn't think she'd do me like that. It was honestly so rude. Hi, Krista. Welcome in. We're doing well today. Okay, it seems like that first... No, it was the second track we did with the challenge that I did somewhat decent in. I don't know if this is possible. I don't know if it's possible. New camp setup? Yeah, I just changed my lighting. I moved it to here. You see how there's a cash shadow here? It looks a bit better, huh? Like, I think it'd be better if I had... Oh, okay, I gift you a sub. Give me one second. Hold. I gotta pull up my other computer. Chatter, go Gamba, go Gamba. <laughs> I, went, I was just gonna sing the song, but I don't have the tune right. Okay, let me give you your gifted sub. Hold. I have to do it on my other computer. Why isn't that working? Oh, I get so fucking pissed because my other laptop, it won't automatically connect to the default Wi-Fi. It'll always connect to the Xfinity one, which we, which we can't use. And I always change my default to like the family Wi-Fi, but it always disconnects. It's fucking stupid.
okay it's processing hey yo there you go enjoy your gifted sub crystal Yeah, enjoy the emotes and add free viewing hunt. Okay, we're gonna wait for somebody to lap us. Do you write your own name when you give to sub? No, that'd be cringe. No. That'd be cringe. Hey, yo. Look at me, so cool. Should we do donuts again? Oh, someone's going up. Oh my god, H hurry up around the corner. It'd be funny. I mean, I guess I could write my name in the other journal, not the actual sub journal. Wait. Oh shit. I forgot the past change on this one. Okay. Well, I just wasted like three seconds there. Damn. Okay, let's see if the bullet bill can help us a little bit. This might be the point of no return. Although I am blowing through this. <clears throat> we finally see someone. We have caught up to the back. Tenth place, ninth, okay. Oh, that's only lap two. Okay, I thought that was the final lap. Okay, I'm doing better than I thought. Fourth place. <laughs> First place got boomed. Guys, I got this in the bag. Look at that shit. There we go. There we go. It's another dub. Emo only mode. Okay. <laughs> okay, so at 11.49, you guys can talk again. Did I get first? Yes, I did. Kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Man, that was a pretty good run. That was a pretty good run. I mean, I feel like the first course for any pre is always pretty easy, pretty solid. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> okay, anyway, chatters can go again, but do you think I will get first when I have to let everybody pass me? Oh, I have another good story, Tim. We're gonna have to wait till we actually start racing. Because, you know, I gotta farm clips. Talking about farming clips. Right now I'm in the process of editing the Cooking Mama stream, and then... Because my goal is to get that video done by Sunday, that way I can post it on Sunday during the secret stream. Chatter's exclamation secret. <laughs> and then... Either... Because if this week's schedule is gonna be Thursday Fall Guys, I think we'll start... What you call it? What's the game called? Oh, what's it called? Eastward. We'll start Eastward next week. Next Friday. Because, like, I was like, Oh, there we go! Catch-up time. I was looking at my total stream hours for the month, and I already have 20, so I'm already over for being two weeks in. Okay, this one's gonna be easy-peasy. Definitely can catch up on this one. Bullet Bill? Okay, the Bullet Bills are honestly lifesavers. Except when they drop you in the middle of a turn right- like, right there. It's not cool. Uh, 
Uh, 11th had a bullet bill too. Not cool. <laughs> we blew that penguin away. <laughs> Hi, Lemon. Welcome in, hun. Hope we're doing well today. Oh, we finally caught up. 10th place. Okay, seems like it basically will take a whole lap for me to catch up. Dude, this challenge will go crazy in online. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, I have to win for the believers. Ah, oh, damn, fourth, fourth. Maybe we should change the prediction to top three, because I think top three is doable. I think we'll do that. Oh, but, but the title says, will I get first? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay, at least I'm tied for like first place overall, though. Not bad. I tag everybody in the chat room to do this challenge themselves. Mushroom Gorge, my favorite. If you don't like Mushroom Gorge, you're a fake fan. Okay, anyway, go Gamba. Okay, I don't think this one will be as hard to catch up on. Let's do donuts again. <laughs> I think it's funny how like it too keeps popping in and out. Okay, Wendy's approaching. Here we go. Do we boomed her? What was the other, like, story time I had? Okay. Okay. I try and live under the notion that you should try and be nice to everybody. Especially, like, service workers or people who are working with the public. Because I feel like those jobs are very stressful. But in turn, I will also try and be nice to the normal people and customers. But, like, if they're being rude, then, you know, not that I'll be rude back. But I think there's, like, a line, right? So, anyway. <laughs> The reason why I bring this up. Now, I personally, I don't mind if people cut in line. That doesn't bother me too much. Because, like, in my head, you know, I'm still going to get served at some point. If it's one person in front of me, it's only going to be, like, an extra two minutes. That's not too bad. So, now, we were at the bus station in Portland. And the way that the station is, the track is right on the ground. So, because of that, for safety reasons, I assume that's why they don't let people on the tracks early. So, they only unlock the doors to the station like maybe 10 minutes before boarding time because usually i like to be outside for like 20 minutes that way i can get good seats right so the way the lobby was split up it was split in half so people were sitting on the two different separated lobbies and when we got up to the door we were like why are there so many people standing there's like a hundred people standing in the lobby we we're like why is there already standing and <laughs> we were like oh they're waiting to get on the train so Mind you, we were a group of, like, four kids, like, young people. So we kind of- Okay. So- I'm literally self boarding I'm literally self boarding So we all kind of, like, inch our way to the front. Dude, we literally, like, cut everybody. And then when they opened the doors, my sister, she, like, dashed through the doors, right? To get, like, the, to the first of the train, right? And <laughs> there were these two, like, older women behind us. Be like, oh, those kids are cutting everyone. Those stupid dumbass kids are cutting everyone. She's like, you should not let them cut. And she's like yelling at us. She's yelling at the conductors. But it's like... Okay, I will admit, cutting is bad. But also my sister, she's 21, but she looks young. She could pass as a child, okay? Okay? And <laughs> we were just kind of like snickering to ourselves. Because like, we try not to. We try not good, right? But like, this is the one time where I'm like, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. So we get on the train. We get the best seats on the train. We get the center seats with the table. We all got to sit by each other this time. It was great. But then, turns out, we sat in the wrong car. So we had to get up, pick up all our things, and find new seats. And turns out they were all separated. So, we cut the line for nothing. But I think it's for the best because, you know, karma, what goes around comes around, right? Yeah. <laughs> Big sad.
Like, I like to think I'm a good person, but I think cutting a line is not that bad of a- It's not that heinous of an act. <laughs> it was so funny, because, like, those ladies were, like, yelling at us, thinking about us, but, like, we don't give a shit. Like, it's not like we pushed anybody, we just, like, snuck through the line, you know? <laughs> anyway, I blame my sister. You know, I had to chase after her, because she literally ran in front of everyone. Not my fault. Anyway, go Gamba Chatters. Go Gamba. And I was telling my mom that story when we got home, and she's like, Why'd you guys do that? <laughs> but I'm like, literally, like, my sister ran to the front of the line. What am I supposed to do? Not chase her? Okay, I'm literally pressing B. I'm literally pressing B. Supporting cutting, how could you? You know, it's harmless, okay? Like I said, I will be super nice to the workers, but I don't really care about as much about like the civilians, you know? <laughs> okay, Link is approaching. And like the conductor, who she was screaming out, recognized us. Cause you know, we were, we were cool with the conductor. Cause like we were goofing and gaffing with him the whole time. So he recognized us and he was like laughing at us. Like, he didn't do anything. <laughs> He's like, I bet those old ladies were hoping that we would get, like, put to the back of the line. But no, he was, like, laughing at us, too. <laughs> A lot of things I promise doesn't mean it's moral. True. True. Like, I, said, I like to be good, but, you know, sometimes I can be a little bit bad. I don't know. I, I have no regrets. It's, ju it's just a funny story. Because, like, everybody else is, like, snickering, too. <laughs> like... Either laughing at us or laughing at the old ladies yelling at us. Cause like, from an outside perspective, like she's yelling at these kids who aren't doing anything. Okay, not that we're doing nothing, but... Like I said, I was just chasing my sister cause she ran ahead, okay? And my sister, she's autistic, so, you know... If she screamed at us for that, she'd be yelling at an autistic child and that's not cool either. Lamau. Okay, I don't think I'm coming back from this one. Old ladies weren't laughing. <laughs> I guess. <gasps> no way, come on. I'll take 10th, I'll take 10th. See, now everybody shut up when I, when I leak that my sister's autistic, okay? She doesn't understand like social norms sometimes. <laughs> Ooh, awkward. Anyway. I told my sister that she should, like, weaponize it more. Like, anytime she's weird or awkward in public, just be like, I'm autistic. <laughs> and then everybody would legit, like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's the end of the pre- Damn. SMH, man. Well, I think this run is going okay. Like, I'm not failing drastically hard. I didn't fall off. Okay, fourth, I fell off. <laughs> Old people have such bad stereotypes? Yeah. I mean... I don't know. Because, like, I'm thinking about, like, the old people I interact with in public. Like, whether it be, like, through my service job that I had or, like, at the shop. And, like, most of them, they're okay. Like, I've had a few people be, like, kind of rude to me. But, you know, it's just whatever. Okay, let's do, like, one or two more pre's with the computer so we can try a little bit of online. Let's go. <clears throat> old people. No, we do not punch the old people. They're most likely going to trip and fall on their own, okay? <laughs> Dude, my grandma, she's the type... <laughs> she falls, like... Or trips anytime I go out. It's so bad. <laughs> I wonder when the new generation gets old if the stereotype will change. I don't know. Because I feel like the stereotype now for old people is like they're clumsy and senile. I, mean, I still feel like people will still be clumsy, but I feel like the newer generation is a bit more open and understanding. <laughs> old people are either the sweetest people ever or the reincarnation of evil. Or the devil. Yeah, I agree. I think it's one of those 
Oh, you know what I do not like? I don't like when people think they deserve respect, whether it be based on their age or their status. I just that much having that level having okay. Having that level of ego, I think is psychotic. I think it's crazy. Okay, we're waiting, we're waiting. Now we can go? There we go. Oh, come on! Why do I keep getting hit right away? <laughs> Not the people with egos. I mean, I feel like I've definitely developed a sense of ego to some capacity, but I think it's just... I am- I'm a lot more confident now. Cause I think like ego is where you're outwardly confident to an extent where you lack perspective of other people and their experiences. Oh no, come on! Cause like sometimes when I talk to my friends, I've noticed I have like that streamer voice. <laughs> where I'm slightly more extra or like performing almost when I talk to them. But I, I'm never the type to be like, oh my god, this person has this many followers, they're a megalol, or they're a nobody. Because I myself, I'm a nobody as well. Like, I have a very small following, so. Like, I don't care too much about follower count. I also haven't been reached out to do many collabs or anything. So, I don't really care about that type of thing. I think at its core, I just want to make good things. Like, I don't ever want to have the mentality to where I look at someone based on their influence. I think it's mega cringe! Oh my god, dude, I literally had first. It was right there in my grasp. No! Dude, if I had a guy by the green, I would have had first. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't have an ego. I just know I'm the hottest person ever. You know, we love confidence. <laughs> God damn, I had that one in the bag. That was one of the easier tracks too. I got second though. I got second. Damn. Big sad. Go home and cry dad. Okay, this one should be definitely be an easy one to catch up on. Wait, I didn't do a prediction. Oopsie. Sag gamblers. More like big toad. <laughs> of course you'd say that. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> now I know, whenever you go to like a fair or a convention, like everything seems overpriced. I feel like that's normal. But when we went to the Comic-Con, there was this one booth that was selling like these metal cups and that you could get like soda from a tap. And we were waiting in line because like, oh, the novelty cup is cute, it's cool. And we were about to check out and we saw the person in front of us check out. One cup was no joke $40. And it was like this little like 16 ounce cup, like a reusable cup, mind you. But $40? Insane! And if you want to get like a cap and a straw, it was like an extra $10. So some people were paying like $50 for a cup of soda pop. It was insane. Like we saw the ticket and we we're like, oh my god, we're literally not getting that. It's totally not worth it. And like I was seeing these families walk around with like four kids and everybody had a cup. So they spent, what, four times 50, nearly $200 on soda pop? Insane. <gasps> no! I got angry. Dude. I got boomed. Were the cups cute? No. They were kind of ugly, not gonna lie. They looked like little vases almost. Like little short, like pudgy vases. Ugh, dude. I got boomed right at the end. I had it and then I didn't have it. <laughs> Toad has a better gaming chair. I guess, but hi, welcome in, potato. We're bringing well today, hon. 
You know, he's you say he's got a gaming chair, but I saw him floating in the sky, so he has no chair from what I see. Okay, anyway, chatters, go gamba, go gamba. Did they at least have refills? Yeah, I think refills was like an extra five dollars. He could like, oh, get free refills for the whole day for just five dollars. But like another thing that bothered me is because it was like a pull down top. Like, I just could not stop thinking about, like, how many people touched it throughout the day. Like, how many grubby kids, how many neckbeard adults touched the, like, the little handles throughout the day. And I was like, nah. Nah, dude. Oh, that was a different Big Toad? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wait! Do you guys know what time it is? Does anybody know what time it is? Guys, we are past an hour in the stream because I totally forgot, but it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime and sub for free with a hash. You can hashtag sub for free with Prime by linking your Amazon to your Prime account. Also, for the month of September, it is September, so all new tier ones, all upgrades, and all monthly monthly recurring subs are up to 30% off. Crazy. Insane. So, if you're a regular and you hate that, subscribe. If you're new and you think you'll like the stream and you want the emotes, subscribe. Easy. There's a discount for new subs. Anyway, after the ad, we'll continue Mario Kart. So get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Dude, I totally forgot to run the ad. Big sad. I was gonna run it after the toad race, but then I forgot. Anyway, back to stalling. I mean, cause like, going back to the cup thing, I understand that food is always gonna be overpriced whenever, um... Okay, why is my brake button not working? I, I swear, I'm pressing brake. I promise you. You got a notification in your email? You have email notifications turned on? What the fuck? I turn all email notifications off because I think it's annoying as fuck. Okay, there we go. There's Link. Yeah, I don't think there's any coming back for me because for some reason I couldn't break as well in this drag. I mean, I know that Twitch notifications, like the push ones for mobile, sometimes they take up to like an hour to get released. Like, I was sad. Because if you have Twitch open on your computer, sometimes you get a pop-up on your desktop. Because I was watching, um, I was watching Miskip last night, and then, like, a notification for Cutie Cinderella stream came up on my computer, but it took, like, 20 minutes for it to pop up on my phone, and I was sad, because I was like, I would have been 20 minutes late to stream, and I would have missed so much. Okay, this is lap three already. I've only now just caught up. This might be the end. Unless... Ninth, fuck. Okay, at least that wasn't our worst run of the day. <laughs> Look at her, she's like having a heart attack. <laughs> The true reason I haven't been in streams lately is not because of school, because I graduated early, but because of anime. What are you watching, man? Because, like, I've been trying to get back into anime, but I don't know what I should watch, you know? Because I've been really into K-dramas as of recent. Oh, fuck, I forgot to break. See, like, I tried to watch Hunter x Hunter, but then... I just couldn't get into it. <laughs> Look at this... I'm breaking. I'm breaking. I'm stuck. Okay, I think the better strat is to do donuts. That way I have a guarantee to not, like, drift forward. Hey, Luigi just rounded the corner. Link has cut him off. Now Toad is in the front. 
Now we go. Oh my god, I keep getting it right when I'm about to start. This is so unfair. Okay, I promise I'm good at the game. I promise. <laughs> I promise you guys, I'm decent. Ignore the 12th place, that's not normal. It's far from normal. Dude, remember when everybody was freaking out about the cars not moving? Good times. <laughs> Dude, my lines are insane. <laughs> They're so bad. I was just gonna say, I don't know why people say this track is difficult, like, it's not that bad. Why the bullet bill put me that way? They're setting me up for failure. Just like the American education system. <laughs> okay, oh, come on, come on, dude. I think I can get, like, an eighth, maybe. Oh, that guy's got a lightning bolt. Just dodged it. See, I told you I could get eighth. Easy. Fourth? Holy fucking shit, I got third. Okay, that was surprisingly a good run. I came back on that one. Not bad. Almost still second. Yeah, if I would have, like, tried harder with the green shells, I would have gotten it. That was a crazy comeback. I legitimately did not think I would do well. Okay, let's see. We're in power eight. Like I said, we'll do one more pre and then we can try this run with online. But <laughs> I promise you it's going to be horrible with online. I think for online, maybe we'll just wait like 10 seconds instead of waiting for people to lap us. I think we'll do that if we do online. Okay, let's do one more pre. I'm gonna think I'm gonna try and find a pre that has like easier tracks. See, I like all these except for Cheeseland. Let let's try this one because I think Baby Park would be an easy one. That'd be an easy one. If we fell out and let one person lap us. <clears throat> okay, anyway, next prediction is up. Go Gamba. I forgot to clean my glasses this morning. They're disgusting. Cheeseland will always be one of your favorites. Really? I hate Cheeseland. Type 1 if you hate Cheeseland. Type 1? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do donuts until somebody passes us. Here we go. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh no. Oh no. Freak it. Okay, why are they hitting the guy in last? Kind of rude, not gonna lie. It's like they're kicking me when I'm down. Okay, how am I still in last? We're on lap three already. I thought I'd be caught up. Okay, we passed someone. Okay, we're in ninth. Halfway through. Oh, we dodged the blue. Okay, first is right here. Second. First. Oh my god. Guys, I think this is it. How'd I fall off the second? How'd they pass me? Oh, come on, dude. I'm right here. How they got boomed. 
I told you guys Baby Park would be an easy one for this run. It's because the laps are really quick. That's why I was able to catch up by what, lap four or five? Easy. I challenge every chatter to try this run themselves. Oh, I just had an idea. I just had an idea. My dad is hammering outside. I pray to God you guys can't hear it. Anyway. So you know how I want to try and do, like, a draw with me stream once a month? Maybe we can do that on the alt channel. I think we'll do that. I think that makes a lot more sense. Okay, the only thing I like about Cheeseland is the music. Everything else is mid. Mid. Is anybody getting dizzy watching? I kind of am. <laughs> it's God's here, what do you mean? I hate it. Okay, this one might be difficult to catch up on because the lap is very long. It's been, what, a minute? Can you get ready? Oh, wrong way. Fuck. Now we go. Oh my god! I don't care, I don't care. Can actually go for the skip here. Easy. Oh, also, um, we were able to get Splatoon 3 over the weekend. I have a story with that, too. So, I'm not a too big a Splatoon. I'm convinced that it's a baby game. I've had a lot of people say, oh, Splatoon is not a baby game, but I, I think it is. I've never played it. I've seen people play it, and it's just like, it's not my type of game. But my sister, the only reason why she'll buy a game is if her friend wants to play with her. So she texted me yesterday morning at like 5 a.m. And she's like, hey, can you get Splatoon 3 and can you please see if you can get like same day delivery? That way I can play when I get home. And I'm like, I'll try. I'll try. Because, you know, I got that sweet Amazon Prime baby. So it was eligible for same day. So I ordered it. But I told her, I was like, hey, you know. It's probably not gonna get here till tomorrow, because even if they say same day for certain items, like, you can't get it the same day. And she's like, okay, whatever. So she's texting me while she's at work throughout the day. She's like, is it there yet? Is it there yet? Like, she texts me at 10 a.m. And it's like, bruh, it's been five hours. You really think that we're gonna get it within five hours, you psycho? And <laughs> she comes home from work at, like, four... And she's like, did you get the package? I'm like, no, no. It literally says it'll be here by like eight. And so she's still like checking. She's like knocking on my bedroom door. She's like, did you get the box yet? I'm like, no. We didn't get it till like 9 p.m., which I, I figured would happen. So like I knock on her door and I just like place the game on her desk. But it's like, I understand that like same to delivery is a luxury, but you're never going to get it. And I think it's wild to expect that of like delivery companies like it's different if you're paying a premium but with amazon same d it's, it's never gonna be a guarantee you know so she's gonna play it when she gets home from work today i might have splatoon i might play it on stream but i don't know i don't know it's just not my type of game we might have it like as a sub goal stream maybe maybe i'll have to think about it I think because, like, the hype for a new game only really lasts for, like, two weeks max. Because I remember when I got Kirby in the Forgotten Land, I think it came out in March, right? But I only played it on stream in April, and that's when, like, when I was checking the Discover Top, only, like, five people were playing Kirby. <laughs> like, I think it's okay, or I like to play games when they're dead. <laughs> oh, we still need to do the Mouthful Mode stream. Hmm. I know I keep saying I'm gonna save that stream for a rainy day, but I might just make that a sub-goal stream. Come on, can I go? Can I go? 
Here we go. It's comeback time. Mario Kart 9 is gonna be hot. I know, whenever it comes out, am I right? Oh, that was a huge save. I got stuck, though. Legitimately, when is it gonna come out, though? Like, what? 2050? I think they're only gonna release Mario Kart 9 when they have, like, a whole new console. I think it'd be dumb to release it on the OLED, personally. Hi, Radiant. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. If you have any preferred new games or opponents, make sure to tell me. Chatter, chatters. Can we get some peace? I, too. Yo's in chat for Radiant. First time chatter. Well, welcome in, hon. Thank you for popping in for a live. <laughs> I prom- Okay. You might be new. I promise I'm good at the game. We're just doing a challenge run. If you <laughs> read the title. <laughs> I am good at the game. Go, you. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting so many bow bills today. I'm talking about bullets. <laughs> I was watching my friend play, like, a zombie game in a Discord call last night, and we were talking about, like, man, there's so much, like, guns and ammunitions laying around. This is crazy. And then we were like, oh, this is America. <laughs> Obviously. Like, if an apocalypse happened anywhere else in the world, no way they'd have this much guns and bullets just, like, randomly everywhere. And, like, you know how sometimes they have weapons where it's, like, flamethrowers? Or, like, all that type of crazy stuff? <laughs> It's just like, no way this could happen anywhere else. <laughs> you were just playing in your rage quit, damn. I mean, like, I think Mario Kart is one of the games to where, like, it does get me upset, but I think the fun of the game is that it's, like, pure random RNG sometimes with the items, where I can't get too mad at it. The only time I do get kind of mad is when I play with, like, a friend of my sister. And, like, that's when I sometimes pop off. Like, if she, like, intentionally snaps me with a green shell, that that's when I'll, like, I'll go off at her. But otherwise, it's not too bad. Like, I don't get angry too much. Anyway, chatters, go Gamba. Go Gamba. Dude, this run is not going to be fun at all in online. You're trying to get three stars in all 200? I, I completed that a while ago, and it took a long-ass time. I think I got stuck on the star and the crown pre for a while. Cause like it always seems like you get to the final race and then you fuck up on that one. It's just like, bro. <laughs> but that's a pretty good challenge run to do by on your own. I personally think 200 CC is the best and most fun game mode. But I'm surprised that not many people like it. Cause whenever I suggest we do 200 for a tournament, people are like, ew. I hate 200. Oh, that was a pretty nice save right there. Human lines aren't that bad. I'm actually crushing. Yeah, I'm not too big a fan of Dragon Driftway either. The anti-gravity makes me want to yak sometimes. <gasps> that was not cool. That was not cool at all. Come give me a bullet bill or something! There we go, there we go. You didn't care about 200 until you, until you saw me playing TikTok? Really? Interesting. Oh fuck, I, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot. You make it look so easy, dude. I am absolutely throwing right now. I think it's because I only play in 200cc when I play offline. Because with 200cc, you basically have to be focused the whole time. I think that's why I find it really fun. Because I don't mind games where you kind of chill and kind of lax, but... With Mario Kart, you have to be focused the whole time. 150 feels so slow. I agree. The only time that 150 feels fast is if you're playing online. That's the only time. Talking about online, I think we can go ahead and try a few online matches, guys. See how it goes. See if I absolutely throw. And what's funny about playing games on stream is that the frame rate is slightly slower than IRL. So even if I'm playing 200cc... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's look at the replay again. Look, 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 look. 
it, it showed me doing donuts at the at the start. <laughs> wait, 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 I wanted to show again. Oh, that was pretty sick. Come on, Luke, Luke, come on, show it again. I'm, I'm waiting, Nintendo, I'm waiting. Oh! Okay, trust me, it showed me doing donuts at the start. Trust me. Anyway, as I was saying, because the way that the capture card works, especially for the freaking Switch, even if it... Because, like, the frame rate is, like... A five frame difference, so it looks slightly slower whenever I capture it. <clears throat> so even if it's like 200 CC, it probably looks like maybe 175 CC when I capture it in those clips and stuff. Okay, we're gonna try online, worldwide, obviously, because matchmaking is better. Who should I play? Let's do Link. We haven't played Link in a while. I was so good at 150 until you tried 200 and I can't go back. See, that's kind of how I am, too. Because, like, when you only play one, I guess, CC, you get used to it. I was spectating Frick. You're always looking on the TikTok? I appreciate it. I I really enjoy... Or I, I'm really glad that people like the TikTok clips. Because the way that I try and run my TikTok is that, um... They're very much similar to how a stream is, because, you know, a normal stream is like, I play a game, I talk to chat, I tell stories, that type of thing. That's why, like, on my TikToks, you don't see a lot of gaming tips or tricks or, like, funny ha-ha moments. Because with any type of online content I post, whether it be, like, for the clips or, like, the main channel YouTube, I want it to be as similar to a stream as possible, because the goal is to get people to watch the live. So, yeah. I'm glad people like the clips, though. Dude, my foot's asleep and it's killing me. In Minecraft. <laughs> Dude, this guy is crushing. Look at him. Look at Luke go. Oh, they got a boombox? They're fully protected? Okay, it's left three. What's my main setup vehicle? Um, I use an inside drift bike, small wheels, and that's all I know. Cause like I, I'm a casual Mario Kart player. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a sweat. So, and I know I should change my bike build to a small cart with small wheels, but you know, I like my build. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm trash. <laughs> No, I mean, I think once you have a build, you just have to know how to use it. Because you can use, like, the Wiggler build, but if you don't know how to use it, you're going to be trash. I would definitely say if you're practicing different builds, for sure practice with, um, offline, like, with computers. And then start playing online. Because playing online is so overwhelming sometimes. Like, I get so discouraged if I don't get, like, top six for, like, three games in a row. I feel big sad. He's the kitty car. <laughs> See, like, I know I should be playing cards, but I just hate the cards. Okay, chatters, go, go Gamba. Do you think I'll get first? Does anybody think I will get first? Even with a normal online run with no t challenge, I get, like, top six, maybe. Chatters, do you think I'll get first? Does anybody think I will get first? Mod check believers? First place? Maybe. Hi, Cokes. Welcome, Anton. Hope we're doing well today. We got 40 and believe how. Legitimately how. Okay. So instead of waiting for someone to lap us, we're just gonna break for 10 seconds, okay? So I'm gonna count down 10 seconds. <clears throat> so we got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we go. Because letting somebody lap us online would be crazy. Oh my god! 
Thank you for that prime sub rating. I appreciate that. Thank you, hon. You're gonna get your name written at the end of the stream in our journal. So thank you. First time viewer, first time chatter, and a prime sub. Oh my god, I, I can love the primers. But thank you. Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing. Okay, uh, I don't know if I can catch up. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome punches. No. Oh, fuck. I was gonna make a, <laughs> a domestic abuse joke, but I was like, no, let's not. <laughs> let's not today. Let's not. <laughs> let's not do that. Hey, I'm, I'm not that far behind. I'm not taking too many L's. Even though I am still in 12th place. Not anymore. <gasps> Dude, I keep getting boomed. I knew that was coming. I knew that would happen. It'll be a miracle if I get first in any of these online runs. Oh! Ayo! Good run. Wait! Oh, I didn't get those mushrooms because I was in ghost mode. That's what I get for ghosting people, am I right? Dude, I... <laughs> Not to self-report, but I do ghost people a lot. It's mainly because, like, my social battery gets drained so quickly to where, like, I just don't have the energy to talk to people sometimes. I don't know. I'm a bad friend. Dude, why? 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 Dude, I literally could have had six, but I got hit with something right before I could claim the ghost item. Damn. Go home, cry dad. Big sad. <laughs> Did I get first? No. Okay, my goal with this challenge is to at least, at least get like top four. I think top four is totally doable. I think it's plausible. Ugh! Anyway, chatters, go Gamba. Do you think I'll get first this time? Okay, Meg phone streamer, I'm uploading a new TikTok. Ignore me. <laughs> you were fourth in this game for like five seconds. I had it and then I didn't have it. Guys, can I just say Meg Esports is now number three on the leaderboard. I'm outplacing all the Oilers. <laughs> Come on, water park, water park, give me an easy course. Hey, yo, it shows mine. Look at that. <gasps> oh my god, thank you. I appreciate that, Radiant. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's funny because I, I changed the... Was, was, where, where's chat? It'd be here. I changed the bits to meg coins. <laughs> But thank you. See if you have a new bit badge, hon. Oh, we're doing donuts? Okay, so we got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. What the fuck? What happened there? I got scammed. Dude, and that was like, that was like an easy course. I totally could have done well on that course. Damn. What's wrong with Wednesdays? Is Wednesday a bad day? Or is this a bait for me, for you to be like, oh my god, it's hump day. Lamau. Okay, well, we gotta delete that prediction, Sag. 
I know that everybody says, ooh, Monday is a bad day. Let's do Sydney Sprint again, see if I can redeem myself. But I don't mind Mondays too much. Maybe it's because I don't have a job. <laughs> Maybe that's why. But I think... It's like one of those things where like you're halfway through the week and you feel like you haven't accomplished anything. That's why I like I don't like Wednesdays or Tuesdays that much. I think that's why like I usually stream in the center of the week. That way... It makes the week go faster in my head if I stream three days. Do you stay with your brother for two weeks? Uh, I see. Is it for like vacation or just gonna stay with them for a while? Oh, this is mirrored. Fuck. I hate this. Yeah, when I got back from the trip, I had so many fucking chores to do. I had to do laundry. I had to clean the kitchen. I had to do the dishes. Oh my god. It's dollar sushi at your favorite place? What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna try close and reopen the game, so. Chatters hold. So, how how's everybody doing? Okay, I'm testing the internet connection, because that could be it. Like, you know how the Apple- Uh-oh. The internet's not connecting. Fuck. Oh, are you gonna help your brother unpack? Sorry, we just played unpacking on stream. It kicks you when you stay in one place for too long? Oh. I didn't know that. Oh, that makes sense, actually, Cox, because the first online game I did, I just breaked. I didn't do donuts. Oh. Am I going to get banned? Guys, Nintendo, Nintendo, I promise you, I'm just, I'm doing a little bit of trolling. I'm not, oh my god. Dude, am I going to get banned? Fuck. Why did nobody tell me sooner that I can't do donuts in online? <laughs> oh no. Fuck. Oh, I don't want to do computers. Okay, so if we're gonna do this run online, I guess we just have to, like, break but slowly coast forward. We can't do donuts, we can't stay still. Okay, got it. Noted. Everybody take notes. No, We don't, we don't want to get banned. It only took an hour and a half before he warned you? No one told me! I mean, we only just started online. So, that's probably it. You're spectating? Fuck. Anyway, how, how how's everybody doing? Are you guys having fun today so far? Is today a good stream? Uh, time one if it's a good stream. If it's not, shut up. Also, while while we're waiting for this race to be over, um, we exclamation secret in chat. We are doing a se a super secret Meg Esports tournament on Sunday. We're gonna we're, we're gonna play a few games of Mario Party Superstars. If you win, you get VIP. Crazy! It will be a sub only stream though, because we don't want stream snipers. <laughs> One, I think. <laughs> Oof. Mega oof. <laughs> also, I know we had people come in halfway through the stream. I announced at the start of stream, but I am going to launch a new Twitch channel just for art. We're still going to do the sketch cards, calligraphy, and portrait cards on this channel. But if I'm going to do any like large art pieces, it will be on the piece in underscore art channel. It's either going to launch later this month or in October. So everybody who could politely go follow that new channel, that'd be great. You don't have internet at your brother's house? Damn. Dude, I would die in Minecraft if I had no internet. Like, legitimately. It'd be bad. Ayo, Art? Yeah. 
I do post more art on my Instagram, so you can go follow that account if you want. But I want to do more art content on stream and offline. So I think launching a separate Twitch channel would be really good for that. So Mario Party Online. Yes, I believe because we're going to be doing Mario Party Superstars, which I think is the newest Mario Party game. And I think the other Mario Party, I don't remember what it's called, but it's also on the Switch. It also has multiplayer. Because with Superstars, you can have like a room code and then people can just join. Kind of like the Dodo code for Animal Crossing. People can just join with the code and I don't have to friend them. I've been trying to be good at art. Well, all you need to do is practice. Because as with any craft, it's a skill. So the more you do it, the more you like try hard at it, you, you'll get better over time. Like, the best analogy I've seen is that nobody is born a Picasso. Like, nobody is, like, a five-year-old making, like, fully rendered portraits or pictures. So it takes years to get better at that skill, and the more you do it, the better you get. I know, like, the most annoying exercise you can do is, like, draw the same thing every day. Like, draw a hand or a figure or, like, a cup every day. But it's a really nice way to see how you can improve in such little time. Like, if you do it for a week or a month, you can look back and see how... You can improve little by little every day. I think my problem is that I should have a distinct style already. Literally me. That's something that I... That's one of my doubts as well when it comes to art, but... I think if you box yourself into, like, a very strict style, then you don't explore what you can do. Because I was talking, um... With this... With my doctor the other day, and she was like, you know... Because we were talking about, like, our passions, our, like, aspirations and stuff. And I was like, you know, the only time I really do art now is when I want to make something that looks good. Or something that's, like, satisfying for me to make. And she was like, you know, I understand that you're trying to see art as, like, a career. But, you know, you still need to have fun with it, as with any hobby or pastime. Like, you should do like silly throwaway things like do like a scribble drawing and see where it takes you and i was like yeah you right you right okay anyway chatters go gamba we're finally back to racing do you think i'll get first okay so now that we're doing online we just have to coast slowly forward so that way the computer doesn't think we're stream snapping and doing donuts just for fun Okay, so I'm going to hold break and then slowly coast forward. Oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we go. Okay, I think that person is bagging. Or what's it called when they try and get last place and then they try and get the best items? I was gonna say front running, but that's definitely not it. <laughs> you know, I've become so heavily reliant on autocorrect on my phone and my tablets that whenever I do type on the computer and I don't have autocorrect, I legitimately get annoyed so much sometimes. And like, the one thing I do not like about autocorrect is sometimes when you misspell a word so many times and you press enter, it registers the autocorrect as the incorrect spelling. Like, of course autocorrect will always try and change your curse word, so it took a while for the algorithm to like understand that I'm trying to like type F-U-C-K instead of duck, you know, but... <laughs> So many stars. It seems like not many people are gonna be here because of school. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's honestly why I tried to like farm as much during August, because that's when I understood that like that's when like a lot of the younger people and college kids would be able to watch. So like I'm not too upset or bothered if like numbers are down in the fall or winter time. I just wanna make sure that whenever I do stream I'm having a good time. The people who are in stream are having a good time, you know what I mean? 
that's why, like, another reason why I'm trying to invest more time into, like, YouTube or offline content. Because people can watch that type of content at any time and it's still just as enjoyable. Dude, we're dodging all the fireballs! Fifth place, come on! I can maybe get third. Come on! Dude, that guy got boomed twice. I'll take fifth. I'll take it. Fourth? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, I got fourth, baby. I tried to stream one time when my first year was trying to figure out my mic. Dude, my first stream was so bad. It was legitimately so bad. Uh, I wish I could go back. One of the best advice that you need to do if you're gonna start streaming, please, for the love of God, do a test stream, like, test all your tech, your your stream quality, your mic quality, your bitrate, test everything on an alt account before you stream on your main. Because, oh my god. On my first ever stream, I did art, I did, like, sketch cards, and I had in my title, my first ever stream, come and say hi. I had, like, 30 unique viewers on that stream, which is a lot for your, a first stream, okay? And nobody watched because I had dropped frames, my mic was popping in and out because my processor, I didn't have the right settings, and was the last thing. And because I was streaming in 1080p when my computer couldn't handle it, it was making everything drop and skip. It was horrible. And I had no idea until like an hour into stream and somebody had finally typed in chat like, hey, your mic is messed up. And I was like, damn. So thankfully, like, I did test streams and stuff the night and then I went live the next day, but I missed out on a potential of 30 people that day. And it, it was bad. I felt really bad. So TLDR, just, just do a fucking test stream on your alt. I know the idea of making an alt is not the best, but you know. Wait, I forgot we're doing the challenge! <laughs> Wait, okay, I'm gonna try hard. I already fucked up. We're gonna get first. We're gonna get first, guys. I, I totally forgot. Oopsie! <laughs> I t I'm so sorry. I totally blanked on it. You see them? They put the banana in the mystery box. They're so evil. How'd they get a banana in first? Who they got so lucky? YouTube streamer? Never. Um, I'm only gonna switch to YouTube when I get my $10 million contract. Otherwise, I'm staying on Twitch all the way. The only reason why is because, like, I understand that the UI for YouTube streaming is getting better, but the audience just isn't there. And, like, the community aspect isn't there either. Because the thing I love about Twitch streams and watching Twitch streams is, like, everybody knows what's going on. In the sense of, if you watch Twitch stream, you understand what streaming is and what it's meant to be. But I feel like YouTube doesn't have that yet. Oh my god! Frank it! My boyfriend was the only person in chat and they kept saying, I can't hear you. <laughs> Dude, that sucks. I mean, I know I get super anxious whenever I have tech issues on stream, but I'm kind of at a point where I know how to fix most everything. It'll just take like a minute or two for me to get things up and running again. But I do get anxious to where I feel like people will click off. Which for the most part, people will stay. And I genuinely appreciate the people who stay whenever I have like issues. Because I feel like most everyone will have tech issues with the live stream at some point. Because if your internet drops for like half a second, it can ruin everything. So, And that can happen to anybody. Even the big guys who have like the best PCs. So it's not something... That just happens to small streamers, so. No! Oh my god, I got third! See, I'm good at online. I got third. I, okay. I literally, for like 10 seconds, had 12, but then I still came back. So. The Pokemon Snap stream took a while to reboot. Yeah. Big sad. How long? It took me like three, five minutes almost. It's because the USBs kept fucking up. I love my Alienware laptop, but sometimes it makes me really mad. Dude, I got really close that time. 
I was actually tryharding. Yeah. But with OBS, things have been running smoother. So that's a plus. Okay, so we're at 146 uptime. I think we'll do probably three or four more games and then we'll switch gears to Animal Crossing. Oh, why didn't I pick the airplane stage? I love that one. <clears throat> anyway, chatters, go gamba, go gamba. Do you think I will get first place? Maybe. Maybe not. Tune in to see. 200cc Sunshine Airport. Dude, this is gonna be fun. Finally, a 200 for online. Yes. Okay, so now... I have to wait for 10 seconds. Did I get Aurora yet? No. Not yet. So 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we go. You haven't played Animal Crossing for months? That's kind of how I was. Because I remember I played so much when it first came out in 2020. But then I took like a four month break at the end of 2020 and then I started playing again in 2021. And I felt bad. But playing it on stream definitely has gotten me back into the game. But I, <laughs> I haven't played Animal Crossing since the train ride, which was on Sunday. So I haven't played for two days. Oopsie. But that's because like my sister will play the Switch whenever she gets a ride home from work. And then until like 9 p.m. sometimes. Lightning bolt! Get get boomed. I mean like she's at work right now, that's why I can play the switch now, but like immediately when she gets home, like whenever I end stream, I have to hand the switch off to her so she can play. <laughs> I mean it's technically her console, but still, I feel like I use it more. And it's technically part of my job, because I do stream, even though it's not a real job. Lamau. <laughs> she wants to get a Switch OLED, but I, I keep telling her, like, don't get it. I mean, it's not really worth it. Honestly, you should just wait until, like, the Nintendo has a new console. Because, like, the OLED seems beautiful. It seems lovely. But I feel like the, the normal Switch is okay. Because when she texted me, hey, can you get Splatoon 3? And then she also te texted me a link to the Splatoon skinned OLED. And she's like, you think we can get this too? I'm like, no. One, I don't have $400 in my bank account, so I would not be able to buy it for you anyway. <laughs> but I do admit that the skin for the Splatoon OLED is very cool and artsy, but not really worth. Nintendo Switch will be the forever console. I agree. I mean, what can they really do to make a better console? I mean, just better frame rate and resolution, maybe, but I don't know what else. Am I gonna play the new Pokemon game? I'm debating it. I might, but I'm just not too big a fan of Pokemon to BH. They'll only make improved switches. I know, that seems like the path they're gonna take, and it's not, it's not what we want. Um, I might play the new, new Pokemon, but it's just like, I've, I've explained this before, but I feel like Pokemon is such like a niche community to where I, the only Pokemon pl game I've played is Pokemon Sword. And I got bored of it after like maybe eight hours of gameplay. Because I like games where you grind, but I think the battling is just so boring. So, and also like, anytime... I've explained this before. There's so many things I've explained, but I'll, I'll keep repeating them. I freaking hate backseat gamers. They are so fucking annoying. Even if I'm in a stream and I'm watching and I see backseat gamers in the chat, I get so fucking pissed at them in my mind. I don't say anything. Because, you know, you don't want to start fights. But I'm just like, shut up. Shut up. Let them play the game however the fuck they want. That's why, like, I play, like, a lot of, like, smaller, more niche games that aren't too popular. Wait, I'm not even counting. <laughs> Oopsie. Because, like, if I played an FPS, I feel like 
so many people would not shut up. What's a backseat gamer? You don't know what backseat gaming is? Um, that's kind of a good thing that you don't know what it is, honestly. But it's basically like somebody telling you how to play the game the whole time or giving you unwarranted help or tips when obviously they kind of know how to play. It's just like, imagine you're in the living room with your sibling and you're playing like Mario Kart or something and they're like, oh, you, you should drift that way or make that turn instead. And they're just telling you how to play like every 30 seconds and it's annoying as shit. Like, imagine that as a streamer or as a viewer and you just see somebody telling the streamer what to do all the time. It's just annoying. Like, it's the only time I will allow backseat gaming. Okay, why is the game gone again? Hold. Hi, dear me. Why can That's nasty. I agree. It's annoying as frick. What happened? I don't know. It's the second time. The game USB is bugged. I think- Oh no! I forgot! I got disconnected because I paused during an online game. Fuck. Damn, stream is ending. No! No, it's not ending. There you go, saved. Give me- is the audio there? The audio is there. Why even watch the stream if you just want to tell them what to do? I agree. They're annoying as fuck. That's why, like, especially... You you'll see, like, a lot of backseat gamers in, like... Bigger streamers' chats, and it'll be, like, their first time chat message. Just backseat gaming. That really pisses me off. It's just, like... They're just coming in. They don't like you. They don't like your personality as a streamer. They're just coming in to tell you what to do. And it's, it's like, a very selfish way to chat, in my opinion. Uh, we're deleting that prediction. That's why I I hate backseat gaming. It's just annoying. I can't wait for the day we convince Peace to play a horror game. <sighs> if there's a horror game on the Switch, we can play it for Halloween. Wait, is Halloween on a weekday? Hold. If chatters have su oh it's on a Monday, it's on a Monday this year. If chatters have suggestions for like horror type games we could play on the Switch, we could definitely like have a week where we just play horror games. <laughs> it's still funny how Donkey Kong dabs. <laughs> I think you just need to play better. <laughs> kind of rude, not gonna lie. <laughs> do I have a Discord? No, I do not. Um, I'll get a Discord at, um, 5,000 subs? 5,000 subs, guys? <laughs> um, anyway, I know you're new, Radiant, but... Uh, the reason why I don't have a Discord is because, one, I don't have the means to compensate a moderator. I'm not gonna take any volunteers to moderate, and also, um, just for my own personal safety, along with Chatter's privacy and production, I don't wanna have a Discord until I can have adequate safety measures in place. So, maybe... It... it... <sighs> It's like a Discord server is so complex, and there's so many. Cause like I've I've been <laughs> gifts 5k, dude. That'd be insane. <laughs> Imagine, um, little misfortunes. Um, I've seen playthroughs of it, so we wouldn't be able to play that on stream, Sag. Cause like I only want to play certain games blind, if I play them, especially if they're story driven. But that's a good suggestion. I appreciate it, potato. What was I gonna say? Um. Oh, I I I myself <laughs> valid. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, Cause like I've been in a few Discord servers myself, and I've seen things that people should not have shared. Um, there was one instance to where I didn't see it. I didn't see it, but I, cause like this person sent a picture of um, SH or self harm at like 1 a.m. in the picture channel, and nobody saw it. For like 20 minutes thankfully i didn't see it but it's just like it's very hard to moderate people unless you see whatever they post right away you know and i don't want anyone to ever feel like they're gonna see something that is like a potential trigger or it can make them uncomfortable and i feel like the only way to prevent that is if you have adequate safety measures in place yeah it's like it's hard because like i trust the chatters but you don't know who's gonna show their true colors or you don't know if people are gonna go in and like 
say very bad or mean things, but... <laughs> Not letting people do charity work for you? Sad. I mean, if you could put moderating Discord servers as your volunteer hours for graduation, then that'd be cool. But I don't, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, like, like I said, there's just like so many things I've seen in servers that is kind of like sus or uncomfortable, and it's like, I don't want anyone to feel that way, especially in a space that should be like a safe place, you know? Because I feel like Twitch chat has a lot of safeguards. They have a lot of moderation tools. Everyone who chats has to have a double verified account. So, yeah. Anyway, chatters, I think we'll do one more race after this one. And then we'll do Animal Crossing. Okay, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, <laughs> 3, Two, one, go. I think this one won't be as bad. To be so many people with Discords, I agree. I feel like because I've only really heard about Discord servers when I started streaming. Like I, I had no clue what Discord was before I started streaming. And like a big reason why a lot of small streamers have Discord servers is to one plug their streams and also like farm the parasocial viewers. Which is totally fine if you do that. Like, I know I myself, I'm in a few small streamers' Discord. Um, but I don't- I just don't want to run my channel that way. Because I don't want anybody to feel like you have this huge attachment to me. Like, I know some people have expressed to me in the chat that they look forward to the live stream when they like watching the videos I make, but I don't want anybody to feel like they're entitled to my attention. You didn't know about Discord? Yeah, I literally had no idea what Discord was until I started streaming. Isn't that kind of crazy? Because whenever I would text friends, it would only be like on Messenger or through texting. Because like, I know I myself, I'm a very online person, but I'm not like hyper online. Like that's only a recent development in my life. Because you know, I had a job and then school. <laughs> but then once I stopped working, I have no life. <laughs> Meg's my bestie. No! No! Sound the alarm, fair social chatter alert! Oh no! Lock him up! <laughs> no, because like, I, that's what I do enjoy about stream content is that I, I definitely feel like you feel... I definitely feel like you know more about the creator, like on a, a more, I guess, intimate level. But some people take that and cross the line sometimes. They're like, I don't want anybody to be weird. Hey, yo! Only wholesome chatters loud. Oh my god, six! I didn't realize that was the last lap. Okay, not bad. Not bad. You know what else isn't too bad? <laughs> Watching ads, because chatters, we are another hour into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. Or if you like Amazon Prime, you do check out and get a free Amazon Prime sub every month. We got a primer earlier, which is crazy. I heckin' love the primers. I was speaking fast on purpose because this race is starting. Anyway, also, it is September, so all new tier ones, upgrades, and monthly subs are 20% off. Crazy. I know, crazy. Um, after the ad, we're going to play one more game of Mario Kart and switch gears to Animal Crossing. So everybody, stick around or subscribe for free with Farm. I know if some people have to watch the ad, I just, I literally just uploaded a new TikTok. So if you could politely go watch it and leave a comment and go like it, that'd be great. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few with more Mario Kart and then Animal Crossing. I love watching streams because it feels like I want to FaceTime. Oh my god, that's kind of how I feel too when I watch a stream. It almost feels like you're playing games with a friend or hanging out. Because I know when I like hanging out with friends, I, I don't I don't like going out. I don't like doing much, so it's nice just chilling. And like watching them play a game or like you just like going being on your phone separately. I think it's really cute. I think it's kind of like how people equate watching TV to having somebody in the room. That's kind of how I treat streams now, too, now that I think about it. 
Oh, I fucked up the count. Uh, stop the count! <laughs> okay, I think this is gonna be my race. I'm definitely gonna get first this time, for sure. My god. Bullet Bill, easy. Okay, we've caught up to the pack. Blue shell. Oh, they got boomed. So did I. <laughs> that was rude. It's so hard because once you're in the back, it's very hard to catch up because everybody else has pretty decent items as well. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say I'm not doing that bad, but I'm oh, I'm an eighth now. Okay, okay, I haven't completely fallen off. Okay, this is our last race. We have to make it a good one. <gasps> Seven, six. Oh my god. Okay, this is the worst time to get inked. I cannot see anything. Fifth? Come on, give me third. Oh my god, look at that. I got third. Holy shit. Dude, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good run. Dude, how did the guy in first place get a thousand points? That has to be their alt. <gasps> oh my god. Thank you for that gifted sub, Kobobo. I appreciate that. Thank you, hon. Man, we got so many donations today. Thank you, guys. You love them up? I freaking hate them. Up. But thank you, Kobobo. You're gonna get your name written as well in the sub journal. Thank you, hon. Who got it? Oh, Vora got it. Vora's a good chatter. Vora's a great chatter. Okay, so. We can go ahead and switch gears to Animal Crossing, a fan favorite part of stream. We haven't played Animal Crossing in nearly a week and a half, so we need to catch up on that. Uh, if you guys are new to stream. How Animal Crossing works is we do our dailies, we catch up on the island, and it's a bit more time for me to like focus on chat, so it's the perfect time to like ask questions, talk amongst yourselves, or talk to me. So I'm gonna go switch out the game cartridge as I'm doing that. If everybody could politely, once again, go check out my second alt channel. I'm gonna start streaming art on that channel, hopefully by the end of the month or in September. So go follow that new channel. That'd be great. I'm still not number one. Fuck. I know I hate how the leaderboard works because I think it does it by who placed it first. That's why Mac is still at the top. Oh, wait, actually, let's see. Yeah, Mac is still at the top here. Big sad. But you're tied technically. So I think it's just as good, if not better. IMO. Oh, feels weird standing up after sitting for so long. Oh, you see that? That's the shadow right here. Right here. That's the shadow from my mic right there. <clears throat> Can you only sub when you're online? Um, kind of, kind of. So if you have a recurring sub, then it'll automatically charge your card whenever you renewed your sub, but the notification will only come up if you type in chat or if you gift, you can still gift in an offline chat. It's just the notification won't come up in the live later. You love the stars. Oh, actually my background. Okay. Let's not fuck up my camera. It's hello. 
it's actually cherries because I paint all of my wallpapers back here. Okay, I have to find the right there. 24 millimeters. Ah, don't leak my room. <laughs> but if you want to see more of the backgrounds, I have them all posted in a Twitter thread. So feel free to check that out later. I don't have subscriptions on the art channel yet because I don't have affiliate. Big, but if I do ever qualify for affiliate on the alt channel, then we'll have to make special emotes because I I literally just made the art channel this morning, <laughs> so it'll be a while before I eligible for affiliate. Because I think for affiliate you need 50 followers and then an average of three, so it'll probably take like I think maybe two or three months to qualify. It, it all depends on how much crossover I get from the main channel to the art channel, so chatters. Um, politely, go at least follow my art channel today. That'd be great. I was wondering how it changed so often. Yeah, because like the way it works is I have Velcros in the corners. That way I can easily swap it out. There is a channel for redemption in the bottom of the corner of your chat box. And then go. <laughs> was I the first follower? Pog you. Hi, welcome in, Cloaky. Hope we're doing well today on we're doing Animal Crossing. Oh, I need... What should I title the stream? What should I title the stream? Wait, I got it. I got it. I got it. Chatters, I have it. I have it. <laughs> okay, it's not bad. It's just really clickbaiting. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. Let's do it. Plot twist the art channel becomes bigger than the game channel? That'd actually be crazy. That that would be insane if that ever happened. <laughs> Chatters. Chatters, read my new title. Read my new title. <laughs> read the new title. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it's good. Oh my god. Not I have a secret. <laughs> Chatter chatters. Exclamation secret in chat. Fuck, I spelled secret wrong. Exclamation secret in chat. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Because I have found, whenever I play Animal Crossing, because it's not like a, it's not like the main event of a stream, I have to clickbait the shit out of it. Like, chatters will goof and gaff on me, but my one go-to title is, I lost her. <laughs> Looting. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, Uncle uh, Bobo, we're still going to be doing the sketch cards, like the Channel Boy Redemptions, um, the portrait cards, and the follower journal calligraphy on this channel. The only thing we're going to be doing on that new channel is if I do like a, a painting or something. So like more of the bigger art projects will be on that second channel. And that'll probably launch either end of this month or beginning of September because I would like to be able to like get a second cam set up. So that way I can have like an overhead POV of my desk and then like a, a camera that's a bit further back to where you can see me working at the desk. But I have to buy... A new camera and then a capture card so oilers if you want that second cam set up then you know we need some subs <laughs> we, we need to hit 69 subs guys guys <laughs> do i have any pets no i wish i did like i legitimately think if i had a pet cat i would be like 10 times happier oh my god it's ricky's birthday it feels birthday man in chat chatters can we get some Feels. Can we get some feels birthday man in chat for Ricky? Who even is Ricky? I have no idea who Ricky is. Oh, Ricky's ugly as fuck. <laughs> I mean, oopsie.
Yeah, because I think... Because this morning I ordered some art supplies. I ordered some different, like, gessos and then some varnishes. And I got some pearl mica powder. That way I have some, like, base supplies for the paintings. And then I think over either this weekend or next weekend... I'm gonna go to, like, thrift stores and get, like, secondhand canvases or paintings. Because, like, the whole thing I want to do with the painting canvases, I want to use, like, reused ones. Because <clears throat> I like, I like the idea of using, like, secondhand stuff. I think that's a really cool, like, thing to do, you know? Because I was talking to my friend about, like, all the ideas I had. And they were like, why don't you just buy some new canvases? And I was like, no, that's not part of the shtick. Yeah, chatters, um, exclamation secret in chat. <laughs> I almost spat out my water when you called them ugly. Uh, you know, I'm just very honest, you know. I'm not afraid to call out people when I see them, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm looking for, like, a plate of food. Wait. I'm literally so D-U-M. I'm looking through my storage for food in the closet. Guys, I got a lot of sleep last night. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I'm just nervous. <clears throat> what do you mean? And that's where it is? No, it's not. It's not in the closet. You know, that's where I, I personally keep my snacks in the closet, but not in Animal Crossing. Okay. So, you know, as with any birthday present, you have to wrap it up nice and neat. Do I have wrapping paper? I should. What? I guess I don't have any wrapping paper. I mean, it would be kind of weird. It would be kind of weird. If I wrapped like a steaming plate of soup, huh? There's a bit raking too, yeah. Ta-da. You don't sell your items. Shut up. Shut up. I'm a hoarder. I'm a hoarder, okay? I have a problem, and I know I have a problem. You don't need to call me out on it. <laughs> Can you have a bit? Uh, I think so. Oh, wait. Because, like, I'm trying to think. Because you can have your sub badge... No, I think you can only have one other badge besides your sub badge. I think. Because that way it doesn't take up too much space next to your name. I think that's how it is. <clears throat> I know, I'm, I'm a big fan of collecting chat badges too. <laughs> Let's get you on the hoarder show. No, no. I'm not the one who has the problem. It's my parents, okay? It's, it's them, not me. I learned it from them, so it's not me, okay? Okay, I know I said Ricky's kind of ugly, but, you know, they do look kind of dapper in that suit. Not saying it's making me feel things, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, what? what? Nutcase? Why is he calling me a nutcase? Kind of rude. Parties like this with my good old pals sure make an old squirrel feel appreciated. That's to say nothing of the gifts. Say, you bring me something too? See, I think it's so rude. Any dialogue with the birthday parties in game, they're like, hey, do you have something for me? Like, do you have a gift? <clears throat> I didn't realize how far behind I was on mobile yet. Twitch mobile sucks ass. Because, like, just normally... With Twitch Mobile, there's like a solid 10 to, sweat 20 sec 10 to 20 second delay. It sucks. It's not cool. Oh, wait. I, I skipped what he said. I don't care about Ricky, honestly. You know, all we care about is Aurora, and she isn't on our island yet. So everybody else means literally nothing to me. Yeah, I can usually tell which chatters are mobile chatters based on, like, how quickly they reply to stuff in chat. Which is fine. Mobile chatters are cool in PogU, but desktop viewing is far superior, in my opinion. 
Okay, so let's see what we need to do today. So last time I played was Sunday, meaning today's Wednesday. We can chop trees. But I think I kind of want to go to a deserted island because we haven't done that in a while. Also, did you guys see my fit? <laughs> I've been wearing this fit for a week now. But I have a steampunk fit. Don't I look pretty dapper? Yeah, so chatters. Exclamation secret. And you can learn what my secret is. <laughs> oh my god, it's such a stupid gag. Put on a mustache? I thought about it, but I was like, nah, it's too much on my face. Dude, I'm not a literal baby. It's giving winner of next top model. Why are these called comedian pants? What's so funny about sequins, huh, Animal Crossing? Ooh. You need the bib fit? No, I do not need it. I'm not a literal child. Oh my god, when I went out this weekend for that trip, I felt like I was babysitting everyone. Because, like, I had to bring water, I had to bring snacks. Oh my goodness. And mind you, we're all adults. I mean, it's fine. I'm definitely, like, the caretaker type in my friend group. Like, I'm definitely the mom. Mom friend, yeah, that's exactly what I am. I mean, I don't mind it. That much. I love the lighting this time of day because I love how bright the grass is. It looks neon green almost. Okay, so if we're gonna go to the deserted island first, I'm gonna buy a handful more axes and then we can get going. Dude, I wish we can get another star island. That was crazy. Can't wait for your next sushi badge. What do you have now? <clears throat> Let's see. But you got a man, you have a thousand bit badge? That's crazy. See, that's the one thing, like, I love and hate about how Twitch has the badges. Because, like, obviously the badges are to incentivize people to donate, which is cool that you guys get something, like, in return. But I know I, as a chatter, like, I need to get every single badge they have. I need to be on the leaderboard. Like, I'm one of those chatters. I fall prey to it all the time. So, like, I totally get it. What's your favorite season? Because I'm so hyped for the winter. Hmm... I have to think, because like, I feel like my opinion has changed over time. Okay, when I say I need to think, I'm just stalling for a clip. <laughs> Hold. I need to put all my shit away. As I was playing, I noticed I have a huge ass cobweb on my TV, and it's right in the center. So there's just this dark gray blob on my screen. <clears throat> okay, anyway, I think my favorite season has to still be fall Because just I think everything looks prettier during fall in terms of, like the contrast and the colors Cause, Like just naturally you're in you're attracted to contrasting colors like ie like the green Wait, no, sorry green is the wrong color <laughs> Like the orange leaves against the blue sky like you're automatically attracted to that subconsciously but I hate summer because it's way too hot, but I feel like fall is the perfect transition between like the warmer and the cooler seasons. And like, I feel comfortable wearing long sleeves. So like, if I can go outside and wear a long sleeve, I'll be so comfy. And like, be able to wear a long sleeve inside in my non-AC house. That'd be great. Only have for winter because I live in Texas. Really? How is the weather different in Texas? Because I know for Hawaii, like, their winter and, like, typhoon, typhoon season, they only get to, like, maybe 
50 degrees, which in Washington is like is our sunny day, like our warm day. Next month you'll give me 2300 bits? You're crazy! Um, somebody screenshot this so we can grill potato if they don't. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I appreciate any donations that people give to the channel. All donations go right back into the stream. Like I said, right now I'm saving for a new camera and capture card. So, with all the money from August, um, I would just like to say, I think for the month of August, I got like double the normal payout that I have been getting. So, I think with August Twitch money, I can definitely buy like a capture card, but I have to save up for a camera. Fall winter pits go crazy. I agree. Like, I've learned over time, layers is the way to go. Because, you know, like, layers hide things. <laughs> it's 90 degrees right now in Texas? Dude, I would not be able to survive. I cannot stand hot weather. Like, I'm the type of person that runs hot, so... The one thing I did like about living in Hawaii, because I lived there for a few months when I was in like fourth grade, I have a memory where it was like pouring, because it was typhoon season. It was pouring on like the 10 minute walk to school, and I was drenched. I was dripping when I walked in the building, so I had to call my mom and ask her to bring clothes. But the way the school was set up, it was an open building, so like all the classes had like huge windows, the hallways weren't really closed off, they were just like little pathways between the buildings outside. And. So because of that, I like my clothes had literally dried up within an hour. So by the time my mom brought the clothes to the school, I was dried up and she got mad. Because she's like, why did I need to bring clothes? You're literally dry now. And I'm like, true. But I was literally like soaking wet. Because like during typhoon season, it's like hot and humid during that time of year. I love and hate Texas. I've never been, but I don't know if I'd feel safe in Texas. <laughs> Especially being like POC and queer, I wouldn't feel safe. I'm broke. What? Dollar seventy five in your account? Shit. See, okay. I'm a broke ass bitch too, and I think it's important to know your limits when it comes to like supporting a streamer. I explained this before, but I've hit my cap for September because I had to save up money for that weekend trip we had. So, like, I'm not going to be able to support my streamers this month. And I feel bad, but it's also, like, you should never feel like you have to support somebody. That's, like, one of the things I love and hate about streaming is that a lot of your income when you're just starting out is solely based on donations. So, that's why I think it's important to acknowledge every single donation you get when you're this small. But don't ever feel like you're obligated to donate to the stream every month. Like, I know we have the incentives, but if you can't afford it, then it's okay. Because I know I can't afford to subscribe to every streamer I watch, so. Oh, I, I, I agree, Radiant. There's probably areas where it's not as <laughs> scary for someone like me, but you hear so much, so many things in the news and you're like, oh, I don't want to go there. <laughs> but, I mean, it's because I live in Washington. Washington is fairly progressive. Yes, there are some areas where they're a bit more, um, not as cool. But Puget Sound is pretty chill for the most part. I felt that, yeah. Like, I'm just really glad that my parents chose to move to Washington because my mom, she came over from Hawaii. Which, looking back, why did she move out of Hawaii? Like, Hawaii is definitely pretty solid. But I'm really glad they chose Washington. Because I think Washington is one of the more well-rounded states to where it's not, like, as crazy as some of the, like, Midwestern ones. That's why, like, I feel like every person, no matter what state you live in, should have equal access to opportunity. Or, like, anything concerning, like, medical services or government aid. Like, I hate how, just based on where you live, you can have a drastically different quality of life. That's one thing that genuinely bothers me. <gasps> oh my god, is that a monarch butterfly? 
I haven't seen these yet. Hey, yo! It's the first one of the game. Does it snow? Yes, it does. Um, in some parts of Washington, it doesn't snow, but definitely in the area I live, it does. And, like, I live in a valley, so some parts of town get so much snow, but my area typically doesn't. Because we're at a lower elevation than everyone. Even though I live in Washington, like, everyone should be used to and know how to drive in the snow or the ice, but people go crazy whenever it does finally snow. Because granted, it's pretty scary to drive out in those extreme weather conditions, but... I know I'm gonna learn how to drive suit, and I'm genuinely scared of, like, driving in the snow. Because, like, anytime it has snow, like, my job is- my dad has driven me places. And it's not too big a deal, because, you know, he's- he's a crazy driver, but he knows what he's doing. Like, he's the type of guy who make U-turns in, like, a busy six-lane road. He's one of those people. Which is a good and also a bad thing at times. You've never seen real snow? Um, I think snow is a lot more whimsical when you're younger. Because you're like, oh my god, it snowed. I get to stay home from school. I get to go play in the snow. But as an adult, you're like, I still have to go to work. <laughs> you know, I still have to do adult things. I think one of my favorite memories recently when it snowed was we weren't expecting snow because it snowed randomly there was like a 50 50 percent of it actually like sticking and i woke up and i looked outside to the garden and there was these cute little like cat prints in the snow because i think the most beautiful thing about seeing snow in person is that seeing like like just a clean sheet of snow like seeing it with like nobody stepped on it super early in the morning i think it's one of the more beautiful things you'll see in life or nature Yeah, I agree. Like, I'm not necessarily scared of me making mistakes on the road, because I feel like I'd be, like, fully focused and concentrated the whole time. I'm just worried about other people driving. Because I understand that driving, you get better over time, so it's a lot based on how much experience you have. Like, the more you drive, the better you'll get, like, your intu intuition will get better. But I'm still scared. Like, I got my learner's permit a few weeks ago, I believe. Um... And I still haven't practiced yet. Mainly because, like, my dad's super busy, so he doesn't have the time to practice with me yet. Um, because he just got a new RV, so he's been fixing it up and stuff. But I'm, like, so scared of other people, and, like, I just need to get over it, you know? So, I'll be okay. I don't want to learn. See, that? that's kind of how I was, but I'm, I'm at a point in my life where I need to learn how to drive in order to be fully independent. Because, like, you can rely on the public transit, you can rely on, like, trains and stuff, but it, it sucks lugging home, like, 20 pounds of groceries from the, from the shop on the train, you know? And I was thinking about, it. if I'm gonna go out and buy, like, picture frames, how weird is it to see some rando, like, walk down the street with frames? <laughs> like, just carrying frames in their hands. I feel like I get a lot of weird looks, or people would think I stole something, so it's like, I'm gonna try and see if I have a friend available. That can, like, drive me to the shop. I love being driven around. I feel like royalty. Literally. I was just gonna say that. And, like, being on the bus, too. Like, knowing that you have no responsibility over how the ride is going. You can just sit there, look out the window, and enjoy the ride. It's such, like, a nice feeling. Like, I understand, like, it's nice being independent and driving yourself places, but... Having somebody drive you or being driven places, I think is like king shit. <laughs> like my sister, she takes like a lift to work to and from basically every day. She used to take the bus, but it used to take her like nearly an hour and a half with public transit, but now it takes her like 20 minutes with the lift. I mean, it does cost more. It, it costs her a lot of money, but you know, she likes talking to the driver. She likes being driven to work. So... You don't have any buses near you? Damn, that would freaking suck. Like, I can't imagine going anywhere without public transit. Like, I think our closest bus station 
is like a mile away and the closest stop is around the corner but that bus stop goes literally nowhere like nowhere that it doesn't because like the, the bus in my area they only run like every hour now it's kind of bullshit like they used to run every half hour pre-pandemic but now they only run every hour and it's annoying It's unfair, IMO. Okay, whatever space I have in my inventory, I need to take some of these bushes back. Let's see how much space I have. The stores are only like five minute drive. Same for me too. Like I live in a suburb, so it's not too remote. I don't think I could ever live somewhere where it's super remote. Cause like I need to be around people. Like, even though, like, I'm a very reserved person, I don't think I could live in, like, a middle-of-nowhere town. I think I'd go crazy. Because I've been to spaces in eastern Washington to where it's literally no sound. It's weird. Because, like, when you're in the city, you always hear, like, a constant hum, almost, of, like, people's, like, AC on or, like, cars going down the road. But when you're, when you're in the middle of, like, a nowhere town, you can hear everything. It's crazy. You can hear like the low flying planes. You can hear like a car from like two blocks away. It's something that I've never experienced and I don't think I could live like that. <laughs> Knowing that your neighbor is like a whole acre away. I don't know if I could do it. Yeah, I agree, Potato. Like, I live very close to a train track because like a train track goes through our whole city basically so anyone who lives in town lives near a train track essentially but I've lived here my whole life so I've kind of just toned or tuned out that train like the only time I really notice it is when the house shakes I'm like oh the TV is shaking there must be a train I don't think chatters can hear it because I don't think my mic will pick it up unless I have the window open even if I'm standing like on or near the railroad at a crossing. I don't hear it as much. I kind of just tune it out. Because, like, loud sounds don't bother me if I hear it coming. Like, an unexpected, like, bang or a clang really bothers me. But if I know a train is coming and I see it, the sound doesn't scare me anymore. Okay, I think we scavenged enough here. Dude, I think it looked pretty dapper with my monocle, huh? We get heliplanes, yeah. We get so many helicopters here, too. Like, um... Because I have a hospital fairly close, so there's, like, a lot of people being flown in and out. So we have a lot of helicopters, too. Yeah, I'm gonna clean my glasses. <clears throat> As he's singing. You love his songs? I usually skip through them, to be honest, because I'm way too impatient. The only time I don't skip them is when I play on stream. <laughs> I think it's so funny when you skip through the song and he gets annoyed. You know, I like being a little troll. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Oh, my dad's banging again. Okay, because what I want to do is I want to put hedges all along the border of these upper levels. I don't care if they're, like, a different type of bush. Like, I genuinely don't care. Oops. <laughs> Leave him alone. He's singing from his heart. Well, you know, I enjoy singing myself. I like singing. Not for other people, because that's cringe. Um, but, you know, if I'm gonna sing for somebody, I ask first. I think it's weird if somebody just starts serenading you, right? I think one of my favorite memories, 
when it comes to singing is with um, a previous partner, we were like hanging out at night in a park and they asked if they could braid my hair. So we were just sitting in the grass at like 10 p.m. and they were braiding my hair as I sang um, Always by Panic at the Disco and it's one of my like favorite core memories. Because, like, I don't have many people who like when I sing. Like, my parents hate when I sing. My sister, she doesn't mind it. She's just like, it's annoying. <laughs> the people <laughs> who try to show up singing in school. Okay. I'm not going to say that was me. But I have learned over time that singing is definitely, like, a stim for me at this point. Because looking back, in, like, middle school and high school, during passing period, I would sing to myself. And, like, I wasn't in choir or anything, so I'm not, like, professionally trained or anything. But I never did it to show off. I just did it because I found my voice comforting. Because, like, my singing voice is drastically different than my speaking. Oh, my God. My sister, she she hates my stream voice. Because it's slightly higher pitched than my normal speaking voice. Because I will show her a clip and she's like, you sound so fake. <laughs> She's like, you have, your voice is so high-pitched. It's literally so fake. And I'm like, it's just how I talk when I'm excited, you bitch. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Don't tell her I called her name. <laughs> Nobody snitch. Um. <laughs> Nobody snitch. I mean, she has, literally has no social media, so no way you could find her. She knows I'm trolling. Unless... Dude, the unless bit is so good. It's so good. <laughs> I'm a teller. Try. So you know how I put my ring light behind my TV now? I can see all the dust and cobwebs on the top of my TV. Because I think out of all of the chores growing up, I hated dusting. I literally hated it. Because when I was younger, I had asthma. So, even the idea of dusting gave me so much, like, anxiety. And of course, it would mess up my sinuses. Because I remember, I would try and trade chores with my sister. I'd be like, please, if I clean the bathroom, can you please dust the house? And she'd be like, no. Because she knows I hate dusting. You got asthma? I think so. Because I recently learned that asthma is technically a chronic disease. Um, meaning for some people, when they have it when they're younger and if they get it treated soon enough with like inhalers and stuff, it kind of goes away. But it can still reappear when you're older. So I'm definitely demonstrating signs, but it's not at a point to where like I need an inhaler again. So It's a Vine reference? Oh. Isn't Vine dead? I never watched Vine. Cause I didn't have a smartphone until the last year of middle school and that's when like Vine was dying, so. The only Vine references I get is if it was like a re-upload on YouTube. So I just never had the full effect. <laughs> the differences in how people grow up shocks you i know like i know i myself i'm 23 but i feel like the difference between like a 19 and a 23 year old is drastically different nowadays because i feel like the internet rapidly matures people in a sense of when you're online you can consume all types of media you have access to all different news and happenings so it just makes it feel like so much is going on all the time. Like, I know for me, I was looking back at clips from, like, April. And I'm like, that was April? That feels like forever ago. It almost feels like the internet oversensitizes you to some capacity. Like, I definitely feel like the younger generation, like the actual Zoomers, 
they're exposed to so much. Like, both positive and negative things. To where they're kind of forced to mature faster. I forgot that I'm not the only person. What do you mean? Like, the only chatter? Huh? <laughs> Everyone is an NPC? <laughs> Dude, I think you have... Protagonist energy, Ima. <laughs> ever conduct myself in a way where I don't care about others. Like, there are some things where I will be somewhat selfish or self-centered, but I don't think I could make my decisions like that all the time. Because, like, I've, I've noticed recently, like, I've become so empathetic to where if I hear, like, any person facing hardship, even if I don't know them at all, I'll get sad or upset. Like, I'll be browsing, like, my TikTok feed and it'll be, like, somebody sharing, like, a really sad story and I will just start bawling. Because I think the way I kind of process things is I try to imagine myself in their shoes for any scenario or story I hear. So then I can only really think about, like, how much trauma, like, I would face or the anxieties and fears I would feel if that happened to me. You forget that people are real. Um, are you just living in the? I was gonna say. I was, I was gonna make a joke, but it made no sense. It's gonna, make, it's gonna make no sense. I was gonna say, are you living in an alternate dimension? But that makes no sense. I'll try again. I'll go back to the writing board. <laughs> you only cry if it's an animal. Ah. <sighs> Like, I do get sad if I see, like, an animal get hurt, but I feel like I'd, I'm, I'd be more upset if I saw a person get hurt. I mean, it's different if it's, like, if it's more comedic, like, if somebody falls at a funny timing, then that's funny. But, like, if I hear somebody, like, okay, you know the trend right now where people are showing, like, photos of, like, somebody who is very close to them dying? And it's just I'm like reposting like a slideshow of like positive wow. pictures. Like I look those, I see those videos and I just start crying. I'm like, oh my god, like I never met this person, but I'm like, oh, this is probably like such a good person. I just can't handle it. I'm a wimp. I skip them so fast. You're like, just keep swiping, keep swiping. <laughs> Bro, you know how we, earlier we were talking about backseat gaming? I've had people in like my YouTube comments or my TikTok comments try and backseat me playing Animal Crossing. Like, I, I don't mind it, because I understand that people commenting, like, not during the live, they don't get it. Like, they don't understand, like, the rules of the stream, I guess. But I had one guy comment, they're like, why are you only chopping the tree two times? If you use a flimsy act, then you can chop it three times and get more wood. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, I know. But also, I don't want to buy... 10 flimsy axes because I have like a million trees on my island and I don't want to waste the money. I'd rather just miss out on that one piece of wood. It's like, especially if you're backseat gaming like an edited video to where like, if you give me quote unquote advice, but it's not really advice, like it's literally not going to help me because I'm not playing the game in the moment. You know what I mean? It's just weird. It's weird. Like, my rule is... If you're gonna leave a comment, like, say something that I can add on to, like, can, can you continue the conversation further, or say something funny. If it's neither of those two things, then it's just cringe. Or not productive, because I think it's important. 
to where I think whatever and whatever your input should be, it should be additive or entertaining to some capacity. I see that, but also don't be a deba debate lord. I mean, you hoard the wood. Shut up! I should have never shown you guys my inventory. It's disgraceful. <laughs> it's disgusting. You know, I'm I'm just saving it for when I finally start decorating, and then I can craft whatever I want and not have to worry about grinding materials. That's the only reason why I hoard. In real life and in game. I mean, I hoard materials in every single game I play. As with real life, I never use my art supplies because I'm so scared that I'm going to waste them. Or like, I want to save them for a big project. I mean, the game emulates real life, am I right? You're a Nookazon seller? Really? How does a site work exactly? Because I've heard about it. I know a little bit, but I don't know too much. And if you are actually a seller, you think you could um, be my in guy and get me some cool shit? Maybe? <laughs> You know, I don't agree with human trafficking, but I've been searching for Aurora for a long time. <laughs> I'm trolling! I'm trolling! <laughs> Unless? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we haven't had a neighbor move out in a while. We need to do an Aurora hunting stream, but nobody wants to leave. Unless <laughs> we need to think of what'll make it like a good emote for unless. Like, wait, I think the best thing we could do is like some type of sussy emote. Wait. Yeah, it, it's it's this. It's sussy. Like something like this. If you're on mobile, you can see that emote up here. But it's it's the rock going like, hmm, I think that. I think that'd be a good unless. Okay, we'll have to do that. I think that'd be a good pose for unless. Bussy, no. I hate that word. I hate it. You know what I was thinking about the other day? If somebody genuinely hates a word, then they just make it a block term in your chat. Like, I have a few block terms in my chat. Um, prime example, F-U-R-R-Y, because I think anyone who says that word is either self-reporting or trying to be funny when it's not actually funny. So it's like, any word that I don't like is probably going to be auto-banned. Because I just don't want to deal with it. What villagers do I have? Um, I have a handful. We can show you in a second. But I got a good handful. Wrong button. Let's say... Who are I? <laughs> who do I have? I have Daisy. Kevin. Ellie. Ricky. Hans. Bubbles. Antonio. Riga, what the fuck? Yuka and Raymond. And the other person's my sister. <laughs> Just a slight flex. Hi, welcome in, Wolf. Got out of school early, let's go! Welcome in, hun. I'm glad you're here for a live. We haven't seen you in a bit. I mean, I understand, but... Hope you're doing well today, hun. Hey, hey, Wolf. Type exclamation secret in chat, because I have a secret. Oh shit. See, that's what I was scared of, but 
hopefully everything's okay, but... Hasn't... Sorry. I'm like, hasn't the... I know that another chatter has mentioned something similar happened to them, but like... Not to get political, but... I feel like warnings along with incidents of SS happen so often and it's genuinely upsetting to me. Like, by the time I graduated, like, there were still um, mass shootings, like, happening, but they weren't, like, at, popping off as much as now. And it's just, like, bruh. For real, yeah. Like, I think we've only had, or in my school career, um, I'm trying to think. We had one lockdown in junior high. And then one notable one in high school, both in which were where we didn't have anyone in the building, but there was somebody like reported like walking around town with an open weapon. But where a little bit happens often. I'm sorry to hear that, hun. I think like it's it's one of those things where it's an unfortunate reality that a lot of Americans live in. And there's so much more that policymakers could do to protect the public, but they're just not doing enough, and people are dying when they- It's preventable deaths. It's preventable deaths. That, that's the thing that is very upsetting to me. Because a lot of policy- Like, the, the only thing I will say about it is a lot of the policy that's in place now is reactive policy. Meaning, this is what you do if this event were to happen. But there's nothing being done to prevent it from happening. And there's not enough regulations or restrictions for firearms in which it's very easy to purchase a weapon. It's very easy to get cross state lines or county lines to purchase a weapon. And it's very unfortunate that people can't look at the bigger picture. And it's one of those issues to where, as with most traumatic events or happenings in your life, People only become advocates or they only fully understand the weight of the situation or the problem when it happens to them or in their community. That's why, like, I always try and conduct myself or my beliefs in concerning policy through a lens of empathy. Because I cannot imagine if I had to go through a situation like that. Like, my mom, she works at a school. So that's always, like, a constant fear in my mind. Like... I just wish people more- I wish more people thought like I did. Like, you shouldn't have to lose somebody to start caring about something. They said it was a far slum, but released cars showed up to campus. It's like... <laughs> that there's so many talking points that are used that are just insignificant when it comes to the actual moment when it happens. Like. I hate when people say, oh, you just need a good guy with a gun. When it's like, when the fucking cops won't do anything. Or where school officials won't take potential threats seriously. Um, <clears throat> like, there was one time in high school, like, somebody left, like, a note in the bathroom saying they were gonna, um, leave a B-O-M-B in the school. And it was found in the morning and school still went on and the only way that parents knew is if they checked their email so like half of the kids who went to school didn't know that there was a BOMB threat that morning and it's like there's so much more that school executives could do there's so much more that the national government to do to prevent it and be proactive and all it needs is we need more younger people in office. We need more people pushing for those policies. We need to have less for-profit incentives for policy making. It's, it's a very complex problem that can be fixed very easily if certain policies are changed. Now, that's all I'm going to say. But... America will never do it because we're for profit. That's the only reason why. They don't care if people die. I hate crap chatters. If you don't know, I'm a fucking progressive, okay? If you don't like it, then don't debate. That's just how I think. Let's 
some staffers were more worried than the older ones. <laughs> I think it's gonna be interesting, because if you look at the teaching staff, like, people who... who are gonna be teachers in, like, five years, they're gonna be going to school and teaching with the potential trauma of either living through or experiencing lockdown as a child or knowing somebody who's been affected by school shootings. Like, that's gonna be a whole different generation of teachers who are gonna have that underlying fear, like, in them. Like, that to me is crazy to think about. Like, like I said, the only way things are gonna change is when more younger people are in office. That's the only way. Like, I remember the lockdown we had in high school, it was- I was a senior and my sister was a- a sophomore, so we went to the same school at the time. And this was the one where someone had, like, a gun on them and they were walking through, like, the city hall. Or not in the building, but just walking around town with the open firearm. So, like, they locked down every single building in the town for a few- for, like, 30 minutes. Until we were, like, taken down. They didn't kill him. They just, like, apprehended him. Um, but I remember I was in a portable and my sister was in the main building. And I was so scared because, like, you don't know what's going on outside of your classroom when those type of lockdowns happen. And it still really bothers me. Like, I know when I graduated, um, I was still really scared for my sister. Um, because obviously if you're not in the school, you don't know what's happening. And if you're not in the same classroom, you, you can't do anything. Like, even now when she goes to work, like, I talk to her about, like, what happens if something happens at work? And I was like, what are you going to do? And mind you, she's very small. So she's like, you know, I can hide in a box or something. But it, it's very unfortunate that people have to think and prepare for that event. Because it's very common. It's very likely that people will experience it or know somebody who will experience the lockdown and it's not people shouldn't live that way <laughs> oh i'm sorry to hear that wolf it's like it's not something that anybody should experience when america is such like an evolved society it i'm very sorry to hear that i hope everyone's okay i'm glad it was a false alarm but I, I'm glad you're okay. Anyway, thank you. I saw, I like, I like this outfit too. It's cute, huh? <laughs> Why? I, I mean, we talked about this earlier. Like it, there are times where we talk about heavier things, but I think it's important to wear any time we do talk about heavier things. I think it's important to talk about it in a way in which you either offer or I offer some insight or perspective and I think you have to talk about things in a way in which is respectful towards people who have like experienced certain traumas or like and like especially with like gun control and that type of thing it's one of the things where you like you have to accept the reality that this is how American culture is. This is how, like, American infrastructure is set up. But. I I know, like, the cliche thing is to, like, oh, make sure you vote. But I think the best thing that people can do is make sure you vote in local elections. Because those are the most important. Um... And also, like, acknowledge that you have a lot of power in your local community. You can you can protest. You can go to your local city, like, meetings where they have, like, open mic and you can bring up your issues and your concerns. Like, there's a lot you can do in your local community. And it's very easy to look at the national perspective on things and feel hopeless. But you can still do small changes in your own community. And hopefully make things for the better over time. Um, 
Hi, Shield. Welcome in. I agree. Like, I have a friend from the EU, and they were saying how American gun culture is so wild. It's, it's unimaginable to think that it's so normalized to one have a firearm and, like, take pride in it. And also, like, how mass shootings are so common. Like, it's... It's very concerning because, like, it's one of those issues where, like, people become desensitized to it. Like, where you're like, oh, it's another shooting. Only one person died this time. And it's like, it's very easy to think people as just a number, but there's still a person behind every death. There's still, like, a family behind every person. And whenever those type of um, events happen, it affects the whole community. The reason why I'm not saying tragedy, a word you'll hear a lot of the time in news cycling, is tragedy. I've, I've explained this concept before, but when you... Certain words have certain connotations. So when people say tragedy, like the connotation of the word mean, meaning you have no control over it. Or like a disaster is like another word to where you don't have control over disaster. The reason why I say event is because shootings are preventable. If there is stricter gun control, stricter regulation, more action done when concerning threats and that type of thing, then it can be avoided and prevented. That's why I say event. I don't say disaster. I don't say tragedy. Um, like, it's very easy to... Like, I, I do say, like, trust the media, trust certain news sources, but also keep in mind the language and the wording they're using. Like, it's conditioning you to where it's normalizing certain things that shouldn't be normal. Like, as S.H.I.E.L.D. was saying, it's like, it's, it's weird how it's, like, normal just in the States, where it's not nearly as common everywhere else. Um... This is why, like, it's one of those things where you don't understand it until you experience it yourself. Like, I have a very selfish thought sometimes to where, like, you know, I'm glad I'm not in school right now. Or I'm glad I'm doing online college still. Like, it's not a worry that I have to think about constantly. But I think the main takeaway should be is no matter what issue, what social issue, even if it doesn't affect you directly, like, especially concerning gun control, homelessness, um, food insecurity, even if you are in a well place, so many people don't have that privilege or their reality is like so much anxiety is added because of those like realities that they, they, they face. And I think it's important to educate and also advocate for those people because they can't necessarily stand up for themselves, especially when certain states are pushing for leg legislation that will indirectly restrict people's voting access like the states where they were trying to push like same day voting or you're not allowed to drink or eat in the line outside to go vote like there's a lot of things that certain policymakers will do to restrict like the most at risk class and civilians so where was I going with this point anyway so like I think it's important to educate and also advocate for people who are going through a worse living situation or who are less fortunate because you don't know if you'll be put into that situation yourself one day right um <laughs> i don't know why we got so <laughs> oh i don't want to say political it was more like philosophical right there i should have like just stood in front of the ocean as i'm saying everything that would have made a lot more sense huh just me staring at the dock talking about gun control um but thank you everybody for listening i think i understand that there's not much you can do at a national level but you can still be an activist in your local community you can still talk to your school boards you can still talk at like city meetings and get like small protests set up um there's a lot you can do at the local level to hopefully get policymakers to hear your concerns because ultimately, policymakers should be worried about their constituents and their civilians that they look over. And if you have your verse heard, if you have your voice heard, then hopefully it'll, it'll lead to more positive change over time. Anyway, talking about time.
No, it's, it's okay, Wolf. Like, um, I think Animal Crossing is definitely the time in which we have the means to expand on topics further, so it's okay. Like, I always say, um, exclamations share and shit. This is a modeling command. Um, I know there will be times of deeper discussion, but please only share what you feel comfortable with. Let's keep vibes in chat. Chill, no trauma dubbing. I'm not your free therapist. <laughs> um, I think it's time, or I think there's a time and place to talk about more heavier things. Um, I understand that some chatters see stream as like a safe place or like a place to escape. And I, I don't think it's appropriate to trauma dumb. Like, do not say like, oh, my cat died. Because it's like, how can I dissect that conversation? But if it's related to like a societal issue or something that I have like, I'm educated in to where like I can give like a more neutral perspective on or use it as a method to like advocate for certain policies like concerning gun control i think that's an appropriate topic to bring up occasionally like not every day mind you that'd be wild but yeah so it's okay uh, obviously like it's hard especially in like a smaller sh uh, okay i have to run the ads which is gonna get mad at me if i don't run an ad <laughs> so chatters um subscribe for free with prime and you not see the ad um Anyway, after the ad, we'll, we didn't have any more, we'll do you laugh, you lose, because, you know, we need to lighten up the mood. <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? Uh, I understand that people see, like, smaller streamers, especially, like, on a very, like, intimate level, but, like I said, if it's a topic that's general enough to where I feel like I can speak or have some level of perspective on, then I will definitely give my thoughts on, but... I just don't want people trauma dumping all the time. Like, this isn't necessarily dumping. Like, it's obviously different. Because, you know, Wolf is a good chatter. Wolf behaves. And I understand that this is definitely, like, a comfort for them to some capacity. Like, Wolf, you're a VOD watcher, which is actually so cute. <laughs> um, but... It's one of those things where... I feel like that topic specifically is something that everybody can relate to to some capacity and and i would just like to say if any chatters don't like a topic feel free and leave and come back because i understand some topics are heavier than others some people have different traumas like i try and make as safe of a place as i can to some level like i will be respectful towards people's identities their race that type of thing but if it's related to like a policy then i feel like i can speak on that like i think it's important to advocate for people who <clears throat> can't speak for themselves or don't feel confident enough to but <laughs> i'm not gonna spill the secret <laughs> are you gonna be there on sunday it's gonna be crazy. Let's change the topic. <laughs> the Sunday stream is gonna be crazy. I think we're gonna do like three or four Mario Party games. So meaning we'd have potentially up to four people get badges on Sunday. That'd be kind of crazy. And it will be a sub only stream, meaning no plebs, only subs get badges on Sunday. Unless we somehow get a stream sniper, then that'd be big sag. Um, once again, thank you to everybody who listened to that tangent. I know it was a bit more of a heavier topic, but I feel like it's one that I can touch on. Okay, so right now, I'm setting up you laugh, you freaking lose. <laughs> yeah, the video started out really loud. <laughs> hey, yo! Yeah, we heckin' love free games. You know what's funny? I bought this the Super Mario Superstars for myself to play with my friends for my birthday stream, but then they couldn't play during my birthday stream, Big Sag. So... My sister, she plays Mario Party Superstars with her friend all the time. So she plays it, like, 
twice a week. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> secret. <laughs> Exclamation secret in chat. <laughs> Such a stupid bit. <laughs> but that's honestly my favorite part about the Animal Crossing streams. Is like I will say like the stupidest shit for clickbait. Right, if I... I'm changing my title. Hold chatters. Okay, so you guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. If chat laughs, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh. Okay, you guys are ready? You guys ready? Oh, you see his little teeth? Your own juice now? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the secret meta in chat is funny. Keep it up, Wolf. It's genuinely funny. I'm turning on the whiteboard so you should actually be able to um type onto it. If you have a look, you should have some controls and be able to type on it. <laughs> Oh, it's an interactive whiteboard. I was like, what the fuck? Is there, like, bugs? Let's try that again. I thought it was an owl. Look how big it is. That was mean. Loaf. Oh, my God. Loaf. 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 Dumbass. <laughs> How are y'all finding my email again? It, like, honest, it's preposterous now. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't... What is this? What is this? What is... I didn't audibly laugh. I got very close. Oh. Hey, yo. <laughs> Mr. Beast, he somehow managed to capture an amazing shot of a bee collision. Did the people make up with their dogs? I do not understand them. Like, genuinely. The cone was on backwards! Oh, he had the gas pump on there. Yo, anybody want a whole ass street sign? <laughs> okay, it's parking by city lit permit only though. Oh fuck. The lights. Huh? No, no. They're gonna pop. It's gonna shatter. Hey, yo. Oh, no. Why are you so dramatic, man? 
Bring your ass. Let's go, champ. I can see you. You re Of course. What's my pet's name? I'll tell you my pet's name. And if it's not the right one, I'm gonna call you all and cancel my fuck. That was like 300 point font, guys. I didn't think it's funny that all of the birds for you page is just birds. Are you fucking Dude, they got this license plate. Okay, that's kind of mean. I would try and help my cat. That's kind of rude that they'd film him. Not gonna lie. Excuse me, what do you do for a living, man? Uh, I invest in stocks, man. Stocks? That's cool, bro. That's cool. Can you give me a push real quick, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought that was Pokemon. Yo Okay, that was good. That was pretty solid. What was I wanna I wanna watch that we edit again. Where is that? Oh, it was right before this one. That one was very funny. I heckin love the Wii edits. Okay, anybody laugh? Anybody I got that? I think that's the closest I've gotten to laughing in a while. I'm usually like pretty good at maintaining composure with that Wii one. I knew that's what they were gonna do, but it, it's so good. Okay, I think we can go ahead and switch gears to... Thanking Subs Calligraphy. Oops. Oops! Ah! Ignore that. That's a headline. The Wii one was actually really funny. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. It was good. Most of them got you? Damn. You're weak today, man. <laughs> okay, let's do... We Fit Music. Yellow? Okay, thank you for your name. We'll do your name first, since you're in chat. I want to skip to the best song on here. Where is it? This one. Okay, so chatters, if you don't know anybody who subs, cheers, or gifts to the channel, I will write your name on Keaton's stuff in our calligraphy journal, so I'm going to go ahead and get that second camera set up. So politely hold. You can also use your channel points just like Wolf did in the chat, and I'll write your name for free, freaking free. 
We had a couple of subs and bits today, so we have a few names to write. So once again, thank you to everybody who donated. Yo, first try. I'm getting my pens right now. What song is this? This is Snowball Fight, Snowball Fun from Small Snowball Fight from Wii Sports. It's a banger, dude. Also, if we have chatters who like the art part of stream, I'm going to soon launch an art channel. So we're still going to do sketch cards, portrait cards, and calligraphy on this stream. But on that new art channel, I'm going to try and do more big pieces, so like paintings and portraits. So if everybody who's here, if you could politely go, just drop a follow. It's free. It's free. Go follow my new art channel. It's going to launch later this month or in October. So I kind of want to wait until I get a new camera, so. My goal is to get 50 followers by the end of the month. So if everybody who watches the main channel can go follow that art channel, that'd be pretty pog you. Could listen to that song and repeat. I know, me too. I sometimes will offline. <laughs> Okay, it whoops are us. We're dealing with our channel points. And then we had two people donate to the channel today. Where'd my pencil go? Oh, I put my pencil in my back. Damn. Just follow. Thank you. Hey, yo. Thank you for following that alt channel. I literally just made the account this morning, so it's very new. If we could get 50 followers by the end of the month, I'd be very happy. Because if we can get affiliate on that second channel, then we can have chatters. We can have a whole new set of emotes. Because I can only have... I think 13 emotes until I hit partner. So... We can have exclusive art-themed emotes on that channel. That'd be pretty pog you. Okay, I have now drawn in my guidelines. So I totally forgot. Okay, so we had first Radiant Smile sub with Prime and your bits. Oh my god. Oiling me up today. First time chatter. Shoutouts. We heckin' love the primers. Talking about primers, everybody see if you have an Amazon Prime available. All you have to do is click subscribe and check the box where it says sub with prime. You might have a free sub available. Redeemable once a month. I know my I give my prime to Connery's pants.
Okay, so your radiant smile. Cheer 100. And then a prime sub. Let's go. I'm surprised my 200 bits is at the top. I know, right? Anybody want to steal Wolf's number one spot? Anybody? <laughs> I'm trolling. Unless... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Dude, I need to make that unless emote. It's gonna go crazy. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Jinx. Wow. Okay. And then we had Cole Bobo gift a sub today. And then Cole Bobo. I mean, Cole Bobo's technically tied for number one because they're both at three. So, Pog you. Guys, I'm so excited for tomorrow because the new season of Fall Guys starts tomorrow. It's going to go crazy. I think tomorrow we're just gonna play Fall Guys all stream. And we're still gonna do donation incentives along with if I get a crown, I gift a sub tomorrow. So that'll be tomorrow's stream. Dude, I'm so excited because I I got to like the max level. I got to level 100 for the season one. And I was like, oh, it's pointless. So season two could not have come at a better time. We're gonna rise and ride for level 100. Yeah. Getting to level 100 in one stream. Stream ends when I get to level 100. Dude, that'd actually go crazy. <laughs> Dude, imagine how long that stream would be. That could be like a sub a. <laughs> Wait, hold. <laughs> I was gonna say, that could be a sub a thon stream. Wait, chat. I told you guys. Go follow my Twitter, because you'll get some banger tweets sometimes. Fuck, that's the wrong man. Um, I was editing a VOD from April, and I literally said. If I ever do, I said, quote me on this, I'm never gonna do a freaking subathon. <laughs> it was so funny. I literally could not stop laughing when I was editing. I was like, oh my god. But how long would it take to get to level 100 when playing Fall Guys? That would take a long ass time. Because I think the only way I was able to level up was when I did like the duos or squads games. Once again, thank you to Radiant Smile for cheering 100 bits and subbing for the first time with Prime. Let's go. And then also Kobobo with a gift to tier 1 to chat that went to Vora. So once again, thank you to everybody who donated to the channel. I just realized... Hold. Now it's blue. The border wasn't blue. Damn. Speed running to tier 100 of all guys. That would, I don't know if that title would do well. Maybe level 100 or bust. I think stream ends when blank is always a solid title. Anyway, chatters, last call. If you want my retro name, you can either donate to the channel or use your channel points. Last call. Let's go. Okay, we're done. We're done. Um, no raid today. Nobody's live. Big Sag. But thank you to anybody who came in the stream. Any chatter slurkers? I've already had a good time. I think the Mario Kart challenge run was. It was fun. We haven't done a one in a long time. So if chatters have any other suggestions for what other challenges we could do in Mario Kart, please tell me. I would love to do another challenge run. Um, I will be live again tomorrow, 11 a.m. PST, with 
season two of dude i am legitimate when i saw the direct and it said season two was announced i was so excited so tomorrow we're doing fall guys season two let's see how far we can get um and then we'll be doing friday because everything got shifted over one day for this week as usual oopsie i forgot i had an a call tuesday Lamau. um so friday we're doing smu deluxe and then chatters chatters i'll let you in on a little secret a little secret uh we are doing a secret meg esports event on this sunday 11 a.m pst sub only stream we're gonna be playing mario party if you win you get vip we'll be doing like three or four games we might do 30 minute games that we can get in and get out so that'll be on sunday sub only so if you want a chance of vip you have to subscribe See if you got a Prime or September is still going on, so <laughs> don't tell. Keep it a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> um, before I go, if everybody could politely, please go follow my art channel. I would love to do art as a career. And if art does well, then we'll keep doing it on that alt channel. So everybody, please go follow my new art channel. Like I said, live streams will start either later this month or September, all depending on when I can get a second cam set up. Because wouldn't you love to have an HD camera for face cam and an HD camera for like the actual crafting? Wouldn't that be sick? Because like I want I want the art streams to look good. Because I think the plan for the art streams is I'm gonna like post like either clips or time lapse from the streams to like TikTok or um, IG, IG reels, and then see how it goes. Cause I know TikTok does a lot better on with art than Twitch, so it would go crazy, huh? Um, so everybody, please go follow my art stream or my my alt art channel. <laughs> My alt art channel. Politely, please go follow. Um, and before I head out, if you want to see more of my offline stuff or keep up with me with other stuff in my life or see funny haha -ha tweets, go follow my offline socials. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. So everybody, go follow. If you're a real one, go follow. Por favor. It. Uh, like I said, I'll be live again tomorrow. A little NPC. Thank you once again to everybody who hung out today. Thank you to Radiant Smile and Cole Bobo for joining to the channel. Thank you guys. Wait, we're so close to 69 subs. <laughs> if we hit 70, then we'll do Cult of the Lamb. So fuck you. Um, once again, I had fun hanging out with everyone. I, I felt bad for skipping yesterday, but I just wasn't up for it. Also, the call was stressful. <laughs> so I'm always, I always have a good time during stream. And thank you to everyone who watches. Thank you to all the chatters who make it. An even better time because ultimately chat makes the stream and chat is always good so thank you guys for making stream an enjoyable pastime for me so thank you guys i will see you all tomorrow at 11 for season two of fall guys i'm so excited i'm so excited i need to practice fuck i need to practice today there's probably gonna be a, a new bunch of a bunch of new levels huh okay well, anyway bye enough stalling bye